Are we oh, are we good? I've started back up. Uh, I didn't that one. Rhino only got a he got a five. Yeah. He napped nap, two. I napped four. <laughs> oh yeah, he only has one dexterity, so we know. It was a dexterity thing. One, I am two, wise, three. not agile. <laughs> one, two, three, four, I have ice hair. The funny thing is, uh, me and Dan are the physically. Dan is the physically strongest because he has fifteen. All right, uh, Sora's saying it's better. Is it? Is it unfrozen, guys? Like, uh, get any UC? I'm not watching. I just have the chat up. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, there we, there we it's go. There we go. Good. All right. Okay. All right. They, sorry, say, so. they say it's back. Sorry. Uh, I don't think you missed anything. Uh, Rhino got shot by an arrow. He took eight damage, and he was able to rip it out before it did anything further. There are now these two guys who have appeared on either side of you. Uh, one is, you know, wielding a bow, and the other one is coming from... Presumably this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I I look at the one with the bow in a pissed-off glaze. Like, Wait, I hey, we... bows are my thing, jackass. I think this is an initiative roll. Actually, uh, before you do, uh, you hear more noises coming from behind this one, the one that you're yelling at. Oh, oh no. Goody. And after, and after I, a moment... Is it guards? Uh, I think we missed all the people in the chamber or something. You hear, guys, are you all right? You hear Bo. What the oh. hell? Okay. Did it really take us to... Oh, no. He comes down here. He doesn't seem to pay these guys any mind. He's like, you've, you've been gone for a while, and I thought I heard some noise. Is everything all right? Wait, is it um, been 20 minutes already? No, he, 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 just, he just heard noise. Oh, good. We were, we were going to write you when we, were got, when we got in trouble. I just wanted to, By the I way. Just, I just wanted to come make sure. What are these people uh, doing here? Shooting me. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a guy with a bow standing right next to you. Did we ever cover what the other guy has? No. Uh, you can't see. He's a distance away. Okay. Like, that guy just shot the dwarf. Really? Well, all right then. Uh, he kind of holds up his hands as if he's, like, trying to get people to stop what they're doing, even though nobody's doing everything, anything. Everyone's kind of focused on him. I I am very suspicious of this because if he had known about all this, he would have at least did something about the guy that was clearly in front of him. Bo has been known to not notice. <laughs> I remember the basement. <laughs> Bo says, listen, all of you are coming back to the castle with me. Wait, what? He's referring to everybody he, here. like he's, include, he's, include, do, he's doing the steward thing. We're going to figure out what's going on. And then the, the the guy with the bow standing next to him kind of like gestures towards them and says and he starts to speak in Infernal. And Bo kind of looks confused, like, what are you saying? Like clearly right, he, can I just Can I just reaction shot and shoot the bow guy? The the, <laughs> the bow guy or Bo? The, the bow, bow guy. guy. Not, not Bo the steward, Bo guy, the one holding the bow that shot my friend. Yeah, uh, not Bo the guy, the bow guy. Go ahead. Oh, no. I swear if you miss. And Technically, I mean, I guess, we're in, total. Okay. I guess we're in self-defense right now because you got shot first. You take a shot and you fire it. Uh, the, guy doesn't know, the guy doesn't notice it uh, at first, but then it stops midair. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, uh oh. Bo starts to. Uh, Bo gives you a glare and then sp begins speaking with this uh, guy in Infernal. Uh oh. You can't understand what they're saying. Then the arrow turns and flies back at you. I duck. <laughs> <laughs> so what I am got I shot once. Do? Try, what am I supposed to do? Try and catch? <laughs> do you, uh, no, it, it flies back. It like misses. It impacts the floor in front of you. Oh uh, boy! And he says, "So these are, and and Bo then turns to you and says, "So you are the ones." The what? The now? ones what? 
the ones who killed the other tieflings. Uh, I, I, I think we've only say... killed one so far. Only in self-defense. I wouldn't say kill as much as uh, stopped breathing for some time. As far as I know, we've only killed one. Tana, Tana holds a two behind her back. What the, when did you kill another one? There was Africa uh, Bastard the, and there was a guy from the very beginning. Yeah. Oh, he was a... Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was a tiefling. Oh. I remember because he hellish rebuked my ass. Oh, he did do that. Yeah, Sodrak and the magician guy. You're all coming with me now. To mm. the end of the tunnel. Oh. Wait, this like end the, of the tunnel? Like the other way? <laughs> The Which way, end of the tunnel? The way like, you were already going. Oh, oh no. Oh, we're well, be, off we go. <laughs> we're going to be sacrifices. He keeps his hands held up, and you can see there's, like, bits, like, glittering magic uh, coming off of them. It's, ki- it's kind of like the, kind of like a wizard's version of, like, holding a gun up, basically. Uh, oh. And he, gesture, and he gestures for you to start marching, basically. Oh, dear. Come on, magic man, magic them. Who, me? No, Jerry. Okay. He has, like, a, he has a magic hat that can shoot fire. It hmm. could do other things, too. Should I play a card trick? <laughs> I don't th- if you want to entertain them while we walk, I suppose so. <laughs> Alright, so are you guys walking along, then? Yeah, I might, so. I might as well right. walk along. Walk along with Bo the evil steward. Like, yeah, see that but so uh, in case you were wondering, this might not be a JRPG, but yes, the king's advisor has been evil all along. <gasps> My goodness, I, I've never heard of that before except for Jafar. I What's never would have guessed. All right, uh, he, uh, the two, by the way, you can tell that the other two, uh, the guy with the bow and the guy who was on the other end, are both tieflings. Okay. Because... Because, of course, they are. Although, the, the guy with them is a high elf, so that's a little different. Yeah. Uh, he leads you into this uh, circular chamber. High elf bastard. And now, uh, this chamber is lit properly. You have... <laughs> you have a kind of a stone slab here in the middle. It's like a... Like goody, it, another one. It's more like a bed, basically. It's uh, it's like on its side, and on uh, top. It's a sacrifice table. And on top of it is the king. Oh, oh that's so that's where the he was. Uh. he is. He appears to be out cold. He is like he is restrained by various chains, and he is being held down. And there is no one else in the room. However, there oh, is a weird. there is a passage over here. And it is blocked off by a stone wall, which is that color, because fuck you. Uh, <laughs> by the piss stone wall. And so you have, you have all been this led is, in here. Because this is where they go when they gotta take a tinkle. You ha- so, you have, so you have the two tieflings here, you have Bo in the back. I'm assuming you guys are in pretty much the same order from before. Well, me and Jerry switch positions. D- sure, it's <laughs> fine. And Bo says, "Now you, now you could probably tell what's been going on." Uh, yeah, I can pretty much, I can pretty much use context clues. I'm you fuzzy on some details. Tana, can you kick him again? <laughs> mm, I'll do one better. Later. <laughs> okay. I was like, "What, what is she gonna do?" <laughs> we, we, we are the absolvers. I'm confused too. We, we are the absolvers. We are the Notice followers. That. We are the followers of Chartreuse. Got that. Many centuries ago, when a man came to this land, he promised Chartreuse a bounty of his harvest. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there. We already know this part too. Yeah, we we read the book. Oh, but there's parts in the book that you are not aware of. Can we can we skip to those parts then? Because we don't want to go through the whole stupid monologue. He sighs and says. Fine. As you know, every 100 years he had to make a sacrifice, and he did. At first. Then, he grew forgetful, and so Chartreuse 
wanted revenge. When the first sacrifice went by without, well, a sacrifice, followers of Chartreuse knew that they had to take action for their beloved deity. They began to trash the town that was forming until the messages came through and the man finally made the sacrifice. And so for the next century, Chartreuse was peaceful, as were we. But he continued to forget, and he never passed on word. And eventually, when he died, 150 years ago, Chartreuse was expecting someone to carry on. But they didn't, and she knew that she had been forgotten. Except for us. We remembered her, and we promised that we would get revenge in her name. And so, we have acted. We have taken what we could, sacrificed it to give her power. She will eliminate everyone from here who does not belong. She will make File a pure kingdom once again, and then we can give her the bounties that she deserves. But first, she needs power, and while a few apples is a bit of a sacrifice that helps her to regain her former glory, she needs a vessel, a powerful vessel. Oh, no. Someone like you, and not the king. No, no. The king has far more power here than I. I was about to say, did you see him? He couldn't even push a box. Did you see the king? He just fainted at the sight of a green moon. That is because yep. Chartreuse uses the green moon. To... Well, I was about to say so at least, but then I decided that wouldn't be a fair comparison. She takes, <laughs> she exactly! Take, she takes out everyone who does not belong. And the king, he was not born in file. He is of impure blood. But he still has the power we need. So we did what That's... we could. We stabilized him and we brought him here. The ritual is almost ready. All we need is blood. Your blood. It, if she takes now, out all the why uh, ours specifically? Because, also, you're, be she because, takes you're, out, because you're being annoying and you were here. If she doesn't. You ask us to help. I mean, if she takes out everyone who doesn't belong. Um, why do oh, I have her? a question. I'm answering oh. the dwarf first. I ask you for help, because you were already investigating. And I knew that if I wanted to get this done, I had to throw you off the trail somehow. I did what I could, but somehow, someone must have tipped you off. And he looks aside, he mutters, Allison. He looks back and says, Elf, what is your question? Make it snappy. Am I really annoying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I will say this along with uh, Bo if he says yes. I give a belly laugh. Everyone make a everyone just roll a d20 except Lise. I got a 12. Nat Four. 1. <laughs> okay. Uh Lise, you hear you hear five people go, "Yes." And then a second later Tana goes, "Yes." <laughs> oh shit, were we supposed to do that in sync? Also, if she gets rid of anyone who doesn't belong, why didn't we fall unconscious? You were too strong, it seemed. I can assure you that almost everyone who collapsed under the green moon, they are dead now. But you, I mean, you had the willpower. You survived, if barely. So, it is your blood. Your power, that is what we need. One, Tana starts giggling. Okay. One quick question. <sighs> yes? Okay. When it, she got mad because she didn't get her sacrifices, why didn't she just take her blessing away and move on? Because that is not how she works. Definitely. She gave something a long time ago. She can't just take it away. Oh. She just comes to collect what is hers. Oh, she's a tax woman. <laughs> it is he, got, he, got, he, got, he got like he got like gives a thoughtful nod. <laughs> it is tax. It is tax day today. Technically, yes. Uh, two days ago. Now, are we going to do this the easy way or the hard way? 
Tana is still giggling and sorry. Sorry, one moment. I'm I'm just I just had an awesome joke that I think I should tell everyone. Eh, yeah, sure, I could use a laugh. So <clears throat> she she tries to compose herself. She looks to uh Bo and the oh. Have you heard the have you heard the one about out the sword? What sword? Just the sword. Have you heard the joke about the sword? I've heard... No, I haven't. And immediately she pulls out the short sword of trickery and says, It's surprisingly accurate. And thrust! Oh. All right. Sur I'm going to count, count this as a surprise round. Uh, roll the hit. Let me grab my notes. <laughs> this is this is probably gonna okay. be okay. Well, we are <laughs> this time. Six, 16 total. 16 total. Yep. That should you, be you, a hit. You, mm, yeah, you seemingly miss, but he gets hit with the phantom pain afterwards. Roll. Yay, one, phantom. Roll one d4 damage. Two. And right. do I add? Do I add a mod or no? No mods. Okay, so two. All right, and okay. Roll for initiative. All right. Can you set up the the feet markers? I got a sixteen on mine. Uh, uh, I got nine. I will in a second. All right. Um, are we really gonna do this now, or should we hold off until next? Let's time? just do it because this seems like the end. Trust me, let's do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Otherwise, feet. the next session is gonna be like half an hour. <laughs> feet markers. All right. I don't know. I, mean, I don't so know. I know it took us five hours to do combat before. We're better at it now. This is okay. You know what? I'm gonna do this at like the bottom Just of the screen. Just do it on the border. Yeah. Yeah. I can, okay. So, assume that it goes from border to red marker, and this is gonna be ten feet. By the way, Tim, if what I'm planning works out, it would actually be better if we were close together in fighting this time. I think those got progressively smaller, but okay. yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, let me. Did you hear me, Tim? No, what? I said if what I'm planning works out, it might be better for us to fight close together this time instead of worse. Mm. We'll see what happens. He's gonna turn to a monkey and throw your crap at them. I do <laughs> technically have the ability to do something like that. Well, technically, Solar, I did shank him. Just not as well as I hoped to. All right. Here we go. All right. So, uh, I'm going to... turn to a baboon. <laughs> for this... Okay, so I'm rolling initiative for these assholes now. <laughs> uh, Jerry, these assholes. Jerry rolls yours, too. Hmm? Oh, wait. Uh, Jerry, oh, did you roll I got yours? nine. Okay. <laughs> What'd you get, Max? <laughs> All right. Uh... All right, so what uh, you got nine, Jerry? Yes. All right, so it's going Talek, uh, Talek, Bo, Sodrak, Lise, Tana, them, and then both of the Tieflings. They are they are the Absolver Heralds. So come up with names for them. But first, let's do okay. the, let's do everything down here. So we'll go from the bottom up. So actually, uh, come up with their names. Harold. <laughs> oh, I know. I know the other one. I know the other one. Okay, what's the other one? Harold and Kumar. <laughs> uh. I, I I know. I think I know who that is, but I don't know off the top of my it's head. A, it, it, it's a movie reference. Yeah. yeah, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Oh, okay. And Guantanamo Bay. All right. So next up is Tana. Okay. Should I shrink my name? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. We're, we we want to make it fit. In. Uh, it, it's fine if it overlaps, but still. Is All right. So Tana. Write my name. I'll, I'll do yours. Lise. You know, the only thing the only thing that would make this more fitting is if the castle really was white. Sodrak. Then Bo. And Talik at the top. Pretty even spread. Make sure to put down your health as well next to them. Oh, um, right. My, oh, oh, shit. I don't, has, does anyone have max health right now? Um, I do. Me and... This, <laughs> Okay, um, here's, what, here's what I'm no, going to say. No, I don't. You know what? You know what? Okay, I, I'm going to do something in order to uh, help, help you out a bit here. Um, I was about to say, because Jerry is very close to dead. 
Uh, yes. Bo, it, Bo uh, and Absolver he may be, he believes in a fair fight. And so, while he's not appreciative of what Tana just did, uh, he, he kind of waves his hands as the fight begins, and you are all restored to full health. No other yeah. effects, but you are all restored to full health. I was about to say, including him, because that was kind of a dick move on my part. Mm, you only did two damage, and uh, he's a bit of a bullet sponge, so no. Uh, he, oh. does, he does not heal himself. He considers that uh, sort of a fair play. You caught him off guard. Everyone is at full health, though. So go right ahead. That is... That will be his undoing, I bet. Uh, least what? how much health do you have maximum? 20. All right, go ahead and put that down. Mm -hmm. Bo, you are just uh, too kind. You know what? I can actually just move. I totally just realized all along I could just move this keyboard out of the way. Then I have all this desk space. Why have I not done that? I never used the keyboard during streaming. <laughs> 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 now you have room for all your papers. Yay! And dice. Yay! All right, so it begins. Okay. All right, it begins. Uh, Go ahead. I get to go first. Yep, go ahead and, uh, yep, let it begin. I'm gonna attack this guy first because I want to take out the small ones first. I'm gonna say Kumar is the one on the on the top. Okay. All right. So go uh, make sure try, name them if you can, please. All right. So I'll be back in a moment. There's there's a problem with my flock draw. All right. Okay. Oh, don't worry. I'll. It's just a quickie. Okay. So I'm gonna attempt to hit this guy. With my quarter staff that I've drawn. So. Oh, that is unfortunate. I only got an eight. Only an eight? Uh, who are you yeah. hitting? Kumar? Harold. Oh, Harold? Uh, yeah, uh, you you go with the quarter staff and you miss and thwap the ground beside him. Also, Kumar, is, I'm going to say, is the one with the bow. Can okay. I or who had the attempt bow? to. I'm going to just do my bonus action for a punch. All right, roll the hit. That's only a twelve. Yeah, now that that he also dodges that one. Dang. All right. Next Bo's turn. Bo. Uh, he is not very happy with what's going on right now. So what he's going to do, and I'm gonna have to pull up the thing for this. He is going to turn. And he's gonna cast Witch Bolt. Oh, oh dear. God. That sounds bad. That's bad. I need to find it on. I need to find it on this. Hang on. Uh, am I? Okay. Uh, cause I don't know the page for spells on this damn thing. Cause it never doesn't. Oh. The end. <laughs> um. Yeah, he's casting Witch Bolt on uh you, Dan. So. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, okay. that's that's gonna suck. <laughs> Make a ranged spell attack against me. Keep me. I I just want to get to it. Uh, so that I can see it um, myself. I, I found it on the wiki. I found, I found, I, I found, I found it, it in the thing. I found it. All right. So, uh, all right. Uh, range spell attack. Is that, uh, so is that, like, I just rolled against a hit. Against his AC. Basically against just my AC of 16. Basically just rolled a hit, and, uh, all right. And, and this is spell, I add spell attack mod to this? Yes. Yeah. 21 to hit. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. Someone's the boss. <laughs> Good thing we have three healing spells and a few potions left. Yeah. He, he, all right. Uh, you're going to take 1d12 lightning damage. Oh. And I know. so where's the 12? So this could, the 12? this could kill Dan. Where's the 12? I actually can't find the 12. Oh, here it is. Okay. Guys, you seem to have forgotten something. Huh. But you're fighting Bo. He rolls one damage. Oh right, that's what he does. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing: well, unless we break a, his a... concentration or his line of sight, he can keep doing that. Well, uh, here's the thing, Max. I'm surprised he hit it all. <laughs> true, true. Uh, all right, but point point being, uh, in fact, actually, while he's doing this, he also casts Blur on himself. Uh, my, he, my he... rules. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. I, I thought Witch Bolt took concentration. It I'm does. Gonna, I'm going to say that... I'm gonna, yeah, because if he does any other Oh, action, they're, both con he, they're both concentration. He can't have two concentration at a time. I was going to say that he did blur first and kind of retcon it, but all right. No blur then. Okay. All right. 
I was just kind of switching it around. But all right, so he's just doing Witch Bolt on you. You notice he's doing it in a finger gun style. <gasps> <laughs> just to piss off, just to piss off Rhino. Now it's Sodrak's turn. Okay, because I'm pissed off, I am going to use my bonus action to become a dire wolf. Oh, you're still a, a large beast, so I'm a, I'm a big ass wolf. You're just a like a normal wolf, but dire. You're a dire yes. wolf now. Rhino is dire AIDS. Dire I do not have dire AIDS. It's like regular AIDS, but dire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, I am going to move down here and attack Harold. And because... You're not going to try to break his wolf. concentration? No. Uh, no you I, can leave that to me or Lise. Yeah, I think they'll be able to handle it because I have pack tactics. I have advantage on attack rolls on a creature if at least one of my allies is within five feet of that creature and they aren't unconscious. Ooh, what are we doing, Rhino? I'm going to bite the shit out of him. Alright, uh, roll the hit. Alright, and I get advantage. So let me just double check my bonuses here. Okay. Not that. Okay, 19. Uh, yeah, That's you're you're hitting him. You're hitting him. All what right. Kind of nice roll. All right. Uh, two d six plus three, and if it is a creature, which this is a tiefling, so it's not. So I. Yeah, he's a humanoid race. Uh, twelve damage. Not Oof. bad. Ooh. I'm a wolf, bitch. So how much health does he have now that we can tell? Uh, sure, I'll let you know. Uh, he now has forty eight remaining. Oof. Good boy. We're going to be Just at this a while. I, I, I moved my keyboard so you guys put the, put down the health, please. Because I moved my keyboard. What was keyboard. that? 80? Okay. He's at uh, 48. 48 remaining for, 48? Her for Harold. 80. This this might be a bit strange, but uh, I kind of don't have a keyboard right now. Ha uh, what do you mean? Okay. I kind of disconnected it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, but Lise, oh, unless Sordrax is going to do anything else, it's Lise's turn. Uh, I think that was the no, that's it. Yeah, I did bonus, regular, and movement. All right, uh, Lise, you were crying in the corner. What do you do now? Well, actually, after I get my handkerchief and wipe, uh, dry them up, okay? Actually, Ryan, uh, the way movement works is you move. If you move and you still have extra movement spaces left, you can still use them. Yeah, but I would. I, I kind of need to be up all up in his face. Also, he uh, would provoke attack of opportunity. <laughs> that too. Damn. Okay. You can either uh, try to hit this guy or try to break his concentration. 3,720 health! God damn, man! <laughs> Wolves, they're OP. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dire. Okay. I think I am going to cast Sacred Flame on Bo. I'm up for this. That's a single target one, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, it must make a dexterity saving throw. All right. That's right. Fuck his AC. Make him dodge. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, here's the thing. Non-natural 20. <laughs> Fuck. <Ooh>. Fuck. <laughs> the no. thing is, all he has to do to break out of it is 13. <laughs> okay, so what happens if he succeeds? Oh, nothing, because it's a cantrip. Oh, so oh. not even half damage? Nope. Oh, I, okay, I thought it was something big. Nope. Dang. It's well, still, it's a, if I hit, it's a D8. Well, Jerry's turn went to waste. Yep. Alright, Tana! Okay. So, Bo. So, Bo. Okay. What? Did you, like, right, Bo. did you like the joke I told before about the short sword? Does the fact oh, yeah. that I'm electrocuting you right now tell you anything? Hell of these seven second You're conversations. You're right. The, pun the punchline was a little bit weak. Let me try again. Hey, Rhino. Namek's about to explode in five minutes. <laughs> okay, that is a 16 total. 16 to hit? 16 mm. to hit. Mm, no. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's within three if you're doing the short sword. Yeah, the short sword of uh, trickery. Yep, so you're, you're able to do the 1d4. The short sword of nicking him. 
Let's do the more short, damage so, and the short and because, of this item is totally busted. Yeah, because this and the because he's taking damage, doesn't that mean he has to make a fusion throw? Uh, yeah, no, that's that's, that's only if you straight up beat his AC. Oh, for concentration. Oh, 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 right, oh, right, that. I thought you meant the for the short term yeah, trickery. He, he got uh, hit, so he breaks concentration. Well, no, he has to roll for it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what do I have to roll? I believe it is. Find it. Uh, okay. Concentration. Concentration. Okay. You. The DC equals ten or half the damage you take, whichever number is higher. So I have to be ten. Yes. And it's just we're just straight D twenty or any mods. Constitution saving throw. Mm, nine. Ooh, he yes! I broke his concentration. Woo! He he you you swung your sword at him, and it he you it seems to miss, and he's like, <laughs> and he just suddenly gets a pain in his side, and he starts to bleed, and he lets go in surprise. How much damage oh, did he take? He took two he took damage, two but damage. it also two, but it broke his concentration. So how much health does he have now that we can see it? You don't get to well, know. It's Bo. We don't see how he's the we don't boss. See how much damage bosses hey, have? Hey, uh, Bo, Bo, you need you just just think. Imagine there's an SS added to the end of his name. You okay. know, I I don't know how I didn't see that before. <laughs> his last name is. <laughs> his, okay, his, well, no, his his middle name his middle name is like a Simon and then a Samuel. It's time for the two... Uh, his legs are actually very dis disconfigured, and they actually form up to be an S. <laughs> they actually look like S's. He's bow-legged, you say? <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, Rhino, roll 1d4. Okay. One. Bow takes one damage from that sick burn. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, now it's Kumar's turn. Kumar is going to... He's you could say Bo really strung us along. He is... You don't get one. Uh, <laughs> Kumar is not within anyone's damage thing, so he backs up. He's going to back up to... Uh, that, that's rough, just over 10 feet. He backs up to here, takes out his short bow... And he's going to aim, and he's going to shoot the giant ass direwolf. By the way, does it kind of look like we're all fighting around the back of a big phone? <laughs> You're fighting to see who gets to plug it in. I want to go on Tinder. No, I do. All right. Uh, no, I'm. I want to go on YouTube. Uh, okay. So I have to watch the newest Let's Play, or else I'll loot. No, no, I want to listen to podcasts. Okay. So I'm, what's Rhino's well, AC for this? Uh, my AC is. Wait, do you want to like tell me what you rolled first? Uh, let's see. What is a what is a bow get in addition to it? Uh, short, short bow. bow is dexterity. dexterity. Yeah, probably dexterity. Non natural yeah, twenty. Dex. Oh yeah, you, yeah, you hit me. Arr, right, right, right. My wolf butt. All right, he is gonna do to you. Ooh, four damage. No, my wolf butt. And he's going to ready another arrow, and now it's uh, Harold's turn. You guys are kind of in his face. He's going to swing his short sword at both of you. Uh, Brian, we keep having this issue. Look, I got an advantage, so I actually managed to hit the guy. What do you get? Uh, 14 on Talik. Damn. And... Seven on Rhino. Okay, so you he's miss. not gonna hit you. All or, right, or you like he hits me and I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> he hits me though. All right, and uh, you take eight damage. Can you not? <laughs> it's one d it's one d six plus two on this. And uh, hey, hey, I could uh, actually I'm supposed to add the Dex mod to that. You take eleven damage. Oh, does I'm he have die. a plus two short sword? I'm gonna die. He had, his, his short sword is 1d6 plus two, and he has plus three dex. Oh. In fact, I should actually count the short bow for the damage that it did, but... Eh, we'll, we'll move past that. Alright, and... Uh, is he able to disengage? What, or is that like a monk-only thing? 
Um, I think that's a monk only thing if you're not doing it as a bonus. All right, then he is like just he, gonna... he has. He'll have to do it as a full action. All right. He, oh, okay. He he. All right, he's done. Uh, now it's back up to Talik. You have taken eleven damage, so you're down to eight. You're down to six. I don't know what I'm gonna do, dude. I keep getting destroyed in all these fights. I don't know. We're kind of squishy. Uh, you use okay. some of your key stuff, or do you not have much options in the way of that right now? I can I can only prepare myself to dodge or do a two unarmed strikes. Maybe. Monster. Maybe keep maybe put dodge up at the end of your turns for a while. Okay, what I think I want to do is I want to turn around, and I want to go after this guy, and I want to try to sweep his legs, knock him on the ground, and prone him. You are provoking uh, an attack of opportunity wait, from no. Harold. I ah uh, never mind, never mind. I, I can't do anything, dude. You can freaking disengage. hit him. You can disengage. Or wait, that. No. Use your key to disengage as a bonus. Yeah, hit him and then disengage. Um, I think I want to... Okay, I'll try to prone this guy, actually. I want to try to sweep his leg so I can prone him. Ooh. I'm up for biting the shit out uh, of him when he's on the ground. Hit. Ooh, natural 20. Oh, Ooh. You, you crit! Go, you crit! Roll damage! You got him, man. I get to roll 2d8s. That is a 6. That is a, a 3. So I get to do 11 damage. 11 damage? That puts him at... Is he and he does a 270 degree flip. Yeah, he's so let's, let's, let's see if he gets prone. He well, he has he's at 37 health now. If you want to do that, and uh, strength saving throw, or what? I think yeah, strength saving throw. Uh, five. Oh, he's prone, Rhino. Okay, what does that mean? That means, means he can't he can't move unless he gets himself up next turn. And does that mean like both of us get advantage on him? I think advantage plus, or not only, ad it's not advantage. It also means if you we attack can... him, you get, you auto hit. If it oh, makes. yay. It also means we can run away without getting opportunity. I mean, that's true. I would rather get him out as soon as possible. Okay. Since I have the extra opportunity, I think I want to use my, I'm going to use a, a, a bonus action to strike him once. So actually, no. Actually, I'm gonna use one one into one key point to use my flurry of blows to see if I can hit him twice. I mean, you did say it was auto hit. Go for it. You hit him, so do damage. Okay. Beat him while he's on the ground. That is a four. Kick and him that, down. Is a, that is okay. Overall, before uh, you overall, do anything, I did I did I did nine damage because of the brass knuckles. Okay, so we're at twenty eight. Right. I didn't I didn't mean I did re up on prone and it is. Is he has disadvantage on attack and attacks made against this creature has advantage if you're within five feet. It's not automatic hit. Oh, oh so should I do wreck, wreck on that? Do we want to just let that go since it was before we knew? I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go and I'm I'm gonna be a bit tougher on you now because that's twice okay. now that uh, we uh, oversights have uh, made it easier for you guys. He is oh, he, he is he now bloodied. On Dan's campaign, we also made things harder for us. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a different so. one, but at least we're learning the rules still. Well, it's Bo's. Yeah. It's Bo's turn now, and he sees that Talik is weak. Uh. He is going to. He's going to cast Scorching Ray. Oh dear! How do I save myself? Let me go find that. Do -do -do. Cleric, you might have to do your thing. By the way, do you have your big ass armor on? No, he doesn't. He has the hat. Son of a yeah, yeah. He, he, he Why? Hat. Because Why? That's amazing. We didn't have I don't time give a right. shit. We didn't have time. But, uh... All right, what he does? Okay, what Bo does? He creates these rays, and he's going to fire, uh, one each at Tana, Talik, and Lise. Oof. Okay. So, so, uh. Each of you, okay, range spell attack for each ray, so it's just, I gotta beat your guys' AC. Alright, for Tana, okay. 15, oh, 16, a, oh, he doesn't hit. For Talik, also 15. I'm dead. You got hit. For Lise, 
Ooh, uh, 25. Ooh, Jerry, you are, you are. Yeah. Was that, I was about to say, was that a nat 20 or something? Uh, no. Uh, he's got a high spell attack mod. Oh. He, Advisor Bo, if you can tell, he is very magical. Uh, um, we can tell. He, Rhino, all right, so, I, I ask that if I do not disintegrate here, you help me out. Okay, you realize I'm a wolf. <laughs> oh. Well, right, not yeah, magical. You on a hit, <laughs> you on a hit, on a hit, the target takes two d six fire damage. So I live. for Talik, five. Oh god! Oh, that's five total. Five, five total. You have one HP. You're not dead. For Lee, for Lee, two. <laughs> I hate. This it's game. still Bo. He still rolls here. ones. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lee's is at 18. Talik is at 1. Please adjust that for me. I want to be Gorthon. I want my big red half-orc to hold me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, he summons these scorching rays, and he fires them off. One of them goes right for Tana. Tana has experience with these, you know, flying objects, and just kind of darts to the side real quick, and it just impacts the ground. It explodes into a puff of flame. One goes for Talik. He has no chance. It impacts him on the chest he is practically burning he kind of almost down on one knee with how just bloodied he is and the last one impacts lease it <laughs> almost burns up his hat but he's he's lucky enough with that the tears that he's been crying kind of protect him from the flame but he still takes some damage. <laughs> <laughs> and once he's done that he is going to accidentally put some red right on the character sh thing and then he's going to uh, He's going to retreat kind of down here. He goes kind of through here. He doesn't provoke any attacks of opportunity. And now he's down here. Mm. Trying to get a little bit away from Tana, as you can uh. see. He's kind of focused on the group right now. He knows Talik's weak. And now it's Sawdrak. All I right. Might, I might die across the finish line. <laughs> so let's see. Things I could do. Can you give me your extra healing potion? And I'm a around. wolf. All my all my items have magically gone into me until I'm not a wolf. Dang it. Sorry. <laughs> I keep getting screwed over so bad. Look, at later levels I can cast magic as a wolf, but not right now. I'm level two. <laughs> uh, I think I, I have an idea, I, but... I have to rely on the others right now. It's not your yeah, turn you yet. Do. I'm sorry. I'm going to try and like take care of things. Okay. I'm gonna bite the shit out of Harold. All right, roll the hit. Oh no, he's prone. So yeah, he you just have advantage. Okay, uh, which I had anyway. <laughs> so does that make it double advantage? No, remember nope. Dan. Uh, Dan said advantage does not stack. You have it or you don't. Yep. All right, just go ahead then. Eighteen. Uh, yeah, he's getting bit. Yep, you're hitting him. All right, let me check my stuff. Okay. Ooh. Alright, uh... 10 damage. 10 damage. Alright, uh, he's down to 18. We're getting there. Uh, do you do anything else or move on to, uh, Lease? Well, let's see. Things I could do. I could... Move, uh... Hmm. What does it take to grapple? As a wolf? Well, I would assume at this point I would just bite the shit out of his neck and keep biting him. That mm. would be what I was thinking. Okay, uh, does can I do that like as a bonus action, Dan? Or is I that think, a full I, action? I think grapple's like just a side effect of an attack usually. Sometimes. And some people have it as or some people can do it as a bonus action. Just Okay. Then with my bite, can I not let go afterwards? Pretty much. Okay, I'm just, okay go I, ahead. I so that. you're gonna try to grapple and I have to roll to break it, I guess? I th think so. I forget. There's a section on it. Uh, okay, I, I as I've learned uh, just from uh, osmosis, grapple rules suck. So I'm just gonna try to. How about we just make conflicting strength checks so this doesn't take forever? Okay. I think it was. I had to get past a certain point of well, a strength check. Thing is, this guy is still prone. Yeah, what's grapple gonna do? He can't move anyway. Well, because on his turn he could get up unless I'm grappling him. Well, I guess on his turn at that point he tries to break the grapple. Yeah, instead of getting up. So even if he breaks it, I guess he's still on the ground? 
Okay, grapples creature speed becomes zero. Can't benefit from bonus to speed. Condition ends if grappler is incapped. Also ends if an effect removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappler or a grappling effect such as when a creature is hurled away by the thunder wave spell. Basically, if you're going to hold on to him, you want to keep a hold of him unless he breaks free or he's hurled away from it. And this pretty much keeps him from doing anything, like he can't move or whatever? Yeah, he can't... He's pretty much stuck like that for a while. Okay. I'm going to try... That would prevent him from doing attacks of opportunity, too, if he gets up, which he can't, because he Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to try if I can... Try and see if I can find more on grappling. So how so much damage? I saw is, something on it. Yeah, right at the ten damage. Right, it's now right now it's on top of him. Well, like I probably have like a paw okay. on his chest. Okay. Grapple has to be no more than one size larger than you. Must be within I, reach. Yep, I'm large, so I'm bigger than him. Okay. Yeah, right now it's so, the biggest creature. Cease, cease target by making a grapple check, which is a strength athletics contested by your your opponent's athletics. All right, or, so, so let's do this. Okay, so we, are we doing strength or athletics? It is an athletics check. Oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, that one. <laughs> well, I let go. <laughs> you, atta- you, 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 immediate, you immediately let go, and you try to bite again, and you bite the dirt. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we can forget the rest of this. We're good. <laughs> yep, no grapple happened. <laughs> All right, uh, okay. you still did the damage, though. Now it's Lee's. And he is still okay. prone. Um, so, we had no rest, so I only have two spells. We rested earlier. Okay. That was, oh, yeah, it was a short rest. rest. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I have two spells. Gary, Obviously, can... I'm going to help you, okay? Yeah, Obviously. Like, if you don't save me or, right now, you die. Or I can extremely help you and completely use both of my spell slots. Mmm... How could you use two spell slots in a turn? Because a bonus action. I ha- one of my spells is a bonus action. Oh, could be that's a bonus fair. Action. I would say the bonus one isn't as good, though. Heal me. No, heal. it's really fucking good. Trust me. Just heal me. Um, and then see how it goes. Okay. I rushed over to you. Save so me. I can cure wounds. Which means I g- give you a D8 plus two. Do I roll wait, that no, wait. you? Wait a minute. Is it- Jerry rolls that. No, it's a D. It's a D eight plus my spellcasting modifier, which is plus five. Yay! Ooh. Way better. Okay. Let's see. Nice ten. So yes. eight. Eleven health. You are back. You are back up to full. I think. Wait, what? Because it, that was like he five I, five plus eight. Mine is eleven. No, his max is a seventeen. Okay, wait. So what did you roll, oh. Jerry? He rolled a ten. I, I got ten in total. Okay, so that means he has eleven. So okay. I'm 11. I'm 11. Oh, 10 total. I thought you meant you rolled a 10. I was no. wondering how that would happen because he rolled a D8. <laughs> My I, bad. Yeah, My I... bad. <laughs> but now... All these different colored numbers. And I'm thinking I shall... Ca- uh, I will ca- cast Sanctuary. What's that do? You ward a creature within range against attack until the spell ends, which is a minute long, so like seven rounds or something. Well, Look at it this I, way. Even I after it's concentration. No, it's no concentration. It doesn't say oh. it. Oh. Even after this is done, you can still use your hat. But yeah. Any creature who targets a warded creature with an attack or harmful spell first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attacker spell. Oh. oh. And this is the thing. It doesn't say that this is the only thing. It just says until it runs out. So that means if someone attacks and fails or actually attacks you, it's still going on until it runs out. Okay. It doesn't oh. protect you from area effects, though. It so you pretty much gave him like a slight aversion shield. Yeah, but it doesn't work with explo- like an area effect attack, like a fireball or explosion. Like, you um, know, Jerry? What? If the warded creature makes an attack or casts a spell that affects an enemy creature, the spell ends. So for one full minute, he can't do anything if he wants to be protected. It still gives him some time. Why? That's what oh. it says. It, it just means I'll, I won't get attacked by the two minions this turn. Yeah, That's is Ward, a, is ward mm-hmm. uh, a big spell or a cantrip for you, Jerry? Huh? Sanctuary? 
Yeah. Looked like a spell. It's a level one. Yeah, it's a level one. Oh, so that would be both your spell slots. Yeah. I would say don't mm. do that right now. Yeah, maybe don't worry yeah. about it. Save it for more healing. <laughs> yeah. Um, just making sure I don't have anything else that would be good. Yeah, I don't. Just making sure. Yep, nope. Okay. Yep, okay. Ending turn. Because I don't have anything I could do with a bo- as a bonus action. All right. Tana! Kumar! Sparta! Gonna char- You're going to go after the bow guy? Wait. Yeah, I'm going to charge Kumar and... Uh, um, I'm going to tell him... melee this battle. This is interesting. You could use your bow. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch that around. I'm gonna switch from um sword to mm. my bow. Well, the thing is, you want to like, use one of your special arrows. These, oh yeah, you have your special arrows, dude. Special arrows. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> load a poison arrow. Ooh. Ah. Uh, yeah, probably not a good time to use fire arrows. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. It, too bad that golden arrow won't get much use. Mm. Not in this one. Now I fire a poison arrow at Kuma. Roll the hit. Ooh, twenty-four. Yeah, Ooh. you hit. Poink. Yeah, this one's gonna hurt. So I guess we roll for initial damage, and then we roll for poison, right? Three. Okay, yes, I have a Constitution save. A, I think. Got a six total on the initial hit. Nice. All right, he's down to fifty-four. And I think you have to do a Constitution. Constitution save. Yeah, yeah. He will, does it say what I have to beat, or or is there any? Uh, you, never, you, you never. You I think that depends on the poison. Depends on. The, I I, think, I'm gonna oh. say. I'm gonna say for this, he has to beat 15. That's fair. Okay. 13. He fails. Nope, he's poisoned. All right, poison how does, damage. How does po- how does the poison damage work? I uh, he just takes uh, a dice each turn. How much? What dice is it? One d one d four. One d so one d four every time his turn comes up. Does it does yeah. that include now? Well, e- I would assume so. If yes. his turn's coming up, so like now and then again on his turn. All right. Or or you can just cancel it out because I'm reading it up and it's a DC ten. But this is for basic poison. DC ten. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it counts. He's he's poisoned. Uh, so he takes three damage to start for this one from that little bit. He's at fifty one. And now is that your whole turn? Uh, yep. I will reload with the. Hmm. You know, I'm not gonna reload my arrow yet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait on that before <laughs> I do anything crazy. All right. Now it's Kumar's turn. <laughs> He's gonna first. He's gonna try Constitution save to be, see if he beats it this time. I'm gonna still say that he has to beat 15. Uh, he fails with a five. Uh, More damage. He takes another four damage. He's at 47. All right, go Dan. And now Kumar is going to. He's going to load an arrow and he's going to fire it at Tana because we're at a sniper duel now, bitch. Hey, don't. <laughs> Don't you look familiar? Didn't I see you at the inn? No. Oh, shit. We were attacked by two people at the inn, and when we killed them, they just disappeared. These could be the totally same guys. No, they no, they didn't. They you, died. You, I, I, I was just, I was rushing it along, but I was rushing it along, like, pretend, like, okay, we're done now. They got cleaned up. Could, could no, no, no. Remember, remember two guys ran away because there were four? Yeah. They, those two could have been them. Oh my God! It's making sense. I'm kidding. Just I'm, I'm sorry. confused. Anyway, I'm just trying to tie. We, it. we never did find out who that person who ran away from me in the hallway was. Uh, I'll just say right now that was Abraka Bastard. Okay. Hey Dan, I sent you a message. Ah. Uh, All right. Uh, so, what did I just roll to do? All right, I rolled to attack uh, Tana. Uh, yeah, gotta fi- beat sixteen. Fi- oh nope. Uh, the arrow. The arrow. The arrow. Kind of impacts your armor, but it doesn't even reach your skin. It just kind of goes in like barely. Thank you for the new arrow. You don't. You don't <laughs> well, get it. It broke. You go well, at it. Uh, well, slightly used. Oh, it's broken. I'm sorry. <laughs> and now it's time for Mister on the floor. He pouts. Uh, all right, so he's got a roll to try to get up. I, I don't know if you have to roll or not. I think I can't remember if it's just like it takes a certain amount of your move. What? It makes your movement zero. Getting up. Um, trying to get up, yeah. I think that's half movement, yeah. All right. It take it take, takes 15 movement to get up from prone. 
Harold stands up, and it, does that have to be his action? Uh, I think it counts as movement. I'm not sure. Let me think. I, I have the thing up right now, so let's prone, prone, prone. Disengage, dodge, being prone. Okay. Uh, you can drop prone when you standing up takes more effort. Doing so costs an amount of movement equal to half your speed. Uh, you can't stand up if you don't have enough movement left. Uh, you can also crawl while prone. And other than that, it doesn't say anything, so I think it's just a movement cost. All right, he stands back up. He reaches into his pocket, and he pulls out a healing potion. Uh-oh. You know what? Fuck it. He's going to roll to uncork. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fail to uncork? He drops the potion, and Talit catches it. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get one healing potion. <laughs> Correct. Yay! He face palms. He's like, damn it, Bo. He face Thanks, palms. I really needed this. He face palms for two damage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I waggle the, the potion in front of him. Thank you. Don't do that. He could take it. <laughs> now it's back to Talik. Actually, no. Before Talik can do anything, at this huh? point, you you start to hear a rumbling sound, and it seems to be originating from the king on the from King Felix on the little stone pedestal, I guess. Oh fuck! I was hoping this would wait longer. You no, nothing's really happening. It's just a rumbling sound is coming from there, and the area around the king starts to get darker. And Bo's like, "Kill him oh. fast!" And Bo, and Bo <laughs> says, "It's happening. You won't Can stop I, uh, it now." Can I just jump up there and stab the king's body? Kill the king. If you want to, it, would, it could. It, uh, I don't want to risk it not stopping it. Guys, Look, I know it, was, it might save us, but it would also fuck us in a different way. Yeah. Hey guys, because... hear me out, okay? Go ahead. What if I cast light so it won't be dark anymore? There. It's not your turn yet. I don't know if that would directly stop it either. <laughs> okay, so I still got this guy in front of me, so I'm going to keep whacking at him with my staff. Especially since, you know, I can't run away or else I'll get attacked. Attack him. It rolled a hit. That would be a 22. Uh, yeah, you hit. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Uh, okay, that's only a, a 4 for damage. Alright, so 4 for damage. He, uh, You're attacking Harold, right? Yes, but as a bonus action this turn, I'm gonna spend... My last... Actually, I didn't... Oh, wait. Yeah, I only have one key point left. So I'm going to spend that to use patient defense, which means I'm now on dodge. All right. Uh, Harold is at 12. All right, so I'm going to already take care of that. Meaning any any attack coming from him or Bo, I have the chance to dodge away from. All right. Uh, it's Bo's turn now, assuming you're done. Yep. He is now going to cast Scorching Ray again. So, he is going to... Sure. What level is he? Just, it sounds like he's a... He's he's level Dungeon Master. Uh, right, so right. Or, I'd imagine. Ba basically, I mean, basically, okay, the way I do it is I come up with spells that he can use, and he can use them infinitely, but he can only cast at first level. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, which, which bolt was a level one magic spell to begin with? And Scorching yeah. Ray is a second level evocation, basically, so... Plus, I'm, I'm not, like, making it any higher level stuff, no matter what the level of the spell he can use is. And trust me, I ruled out a lot of overpowered stuff like Fireball. Which, yeah. which does, would like... For something that sounds so simple, it would be less dangerous. Fireball does, like, 8d6 damage if it hits, so... Holy shit. Yeah, That's okay. level 3, isn't it? Yeah. It, 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 Fireball still does a ton of damage. I, so I it was like, no, I'll just do Scorching Ray, because that does 2d6 at most. Keep in mind that any attack... That's gone to me has disadvantage. Yep. Uh, he so he's going to aim for. Well, just because it makes sense, he's going to aim for Lease, Talik, and Sodrak. Wolf. For what? Le for Lease. You said Sodrak. Oh wait, yeah. no. Yeah. Oh, okay, Sodrak. I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, I, I messed up there. All right. Uh, wait, for wait, Lease. Wolf for Lease, eighteen. Does that hit? Yeah. All right. Uh, Talik, I, I have disadvantage against. Yeah, so roll twice, take the lower. 15. Uh, that still hits, but I can make a dexterity saving throw. All right, 
and Sodrak. What number do I need to beat? 21. Uh, I'll tell you in a moment, because we're going to do Lease first. So it okay. hits everybody, so far. Uh, Lease, you are taking... 8 damage. You're down to 10. Back to level 1. Alright, Talik, uh, so you, you're rolling against my spell save DC? Yeah. You gotta beat 17. Oh, I only have a 12, so rip. Nope. <laughs> Bo. Bo. <laughs> Bo. Hey, you nearly, you nearly <laughs> killed me from full health. You're at nine now. <laughs> I only took two damage. And Sodrak! No, that makes up for it. You take ten. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wait, what is he at? Nine? Okay. Well, you're wait, still hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. If I'm guessing spells, I, do I add spell attack mod to the damage? Not unless the spell says. Okay. Just make it, I just wanted to make sure. All right. Uh, so that's what Bo did. And he is now going to continue to try to... Uh, from what you can see, he seems to be trying to run. He's here now. Oh, no. If we can take oh. out Harold, I can catch up to him. I have a speed of 50. It's, well, it's Sawdrak now, you, though. Do you want to take out the guy in front of us or go after him? Probably take out that guy. You think Liz could help at all with that, or is it me and you? <laughs> uh, wait, for Harold? He probably, he probably could help, but he could also try to stop Bo. Yeah. Um, I, Her hmm? Harold's I think... up right now, so I'm going to have an attack of opportunity from him if I try anything but just biting his face. Okay, just attack him. Then. All right, I'm going to bite him. I... Rolled hit. And I have advantage. Uh... 18. Yep. Got him. I, you're not going to kill him, but... I might. I have the potential to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. <laughs> How much did you do? I knew that after the first roll. All right. I do... 10 damage. He oh, is so at close. Two, 2 health right now. At this okay, point, he is, he is bleeding all over. He is... And um, I would have... like to try you... and hold on to him with my teeth. All right, gonna try to grapple. All right, so you're yes, ro I am. you're rolling against uh meet my roll then. Yeah, yeah, and athletics check for both of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, he dies. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? <laughs> you you, you, you hold one. you hold on to him and you dig in enough that too much blood comes out from the nat one rolling dumbass and he dies. Jerry, mm, it's your time. Use your, use your magic hat on Bo. Hey, you want to know something? I've hit pound out. Well. Uh, <laughs> Um, is it bad no. news? No, it's well for someone. It is okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. <laughs> okay. Um. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, I found out that my channel divinity recharges after a short rest. Yes, it does. Ooh, get him, Jerry. Get him. Which, which means. I use Radiance of the Dawn against yeah. Bo. Oh, what, do I, what, do I, what, do I, what do I do? Constitution saving throw. I think you have to beat the spell save, DC. 10. Which is 13. Oh, 13! Beat it. <laughs> okay, so he takes 2d10 plus my cleric level. That's okay, so only a 2d10 so. plus 2. Yeah, I know. 2d10 but plus 2. Still. Jerry can do like. Undead. 14 damage. Ooh. Total? Plus the two? Ooh. Yeah, the, that's total. Uh, Sorry. Okay. So Jerry's done the most damage against this guy so far. Yay. <laughs> All right, is that your whole turn? Or is there more? Uh, Do you want to move somewhere? Um. Do you want to try to run after him? Do you want to go after Kubar? Something? Like, you could try to cut him off. You can move that far. Yeah, we're just kind of making yeah. Orion's belt over here. I... I think I'll get close enough so if the, if that's the case, I can make an opportunity attack on him when he. He's gonna make one on you if you get that close. No, oh, that's, right. all, that's only that if he thing. that's only if he leaves the danger area after entering it. Yes. So oh, if okay. you if you ah, so if you if you were to go like right here, you would have attack of opportunity mm -hmm. on him if he runs, but he would not yeah. get attack of opportunity on you unless you also tried to run before him. And correct me if I'm wrong, his attack of opportunity would be with a weapon, not with a spell. Yeah. yeah. He has weapons, though, so... Mm-hmm. 
Although okay, Jerry. probably that would be then my mace then. Okay, Jerry, just try to hold hold him off. Yeah, I th I think I'll get that close then. All right, go ahead and put yourself nom, down. Nom, nom. I'm on the eraser. Okay. <laughs> Everyone ignore the fact that I just ate a bit of Harold's neck. <laughs> no, uh, it's not cannibalism. Roll a stealth check. <laughs> huh? Roll, Who, me? Stealth, roll a stealth check. Who? You, Rhino. Oh. 18. No one notices. Not even Talik. It's not <laughs> cannibalism. <laughs> Tana, well, what are you doing? Tana is not cannibalism because you're a dire wolf. Yep. You know what? Let's let's try and burn Kumar. He's already poisoned. <laughs> Poison and the T fling. You just don't let he. Mm. He's a T fling. Oh right, he's, right, right. He's a T fling. So fire resistance. So, so new normal arrow, normal arrow. All right, I've got hit. plenty of normal arrows to spare. Roll you want to go anywhere first or something? Hmm. Do you want to move anything first, or are you gonna fire first? Oh, um, could. Now that I think about it, could I move here? Yeah. And still fire. Yep. Okay. That's good. So yep. Then I'll move I'll move there and I'll fire. Alright, roll the hit. One normal arrow. Nineteen. You hit. Ooh, that's gonna hit. Alright. How much damage? Seven. Seven, he's Six. down to forty. Okay, we're getting through this. Slowly. And uh, if that's your whole turn, then it's Kumar next. We still don't know how much health this guy I, has. I give the finger to Kumar. Flip the bird. Uh, Kumar is making a constitution check to see if he survive, gets past this poison. And what did he have to beat? 15? 15, yep. you mm -hmm. said. 14. Ooh, that's the poison. More so, damage. Uh, it's only one this time. He's down to 39. 39. And now, he loads another arrow. He's taking a shot at Tana again, because sniper duel. And taunting. 19. Ooh, oh, damn. Yep. Yeah, this one, uh, this is a fire arrow. Oh, oh, goodness. This hits you, and to start off from the bow... Four damage... And how does fire work exactly? Does he have to resist it like poison? I think we did it when Dan was campaigning. We were doing constitution check. So it's kind of like poison, okay. Yeah, so saving throw constitution. All right, so... Which Dan does not have any. I'm going to I'm gonna say that, you again, you have to beat 15. Okay, so I'm down to six health, fire. six health right now. Dan has no constitution. And I failed the saving throw at six. So you take another D4 damage. Do I okay. roll that or you? You. Two damage, so I'm down to four health. E yep. Uh, He's not, not at good. 44. <laughs> well, Dan, look at it this way. You can still heal yourself, or I can give you this potion I got. Or I can use my own potion. Yeah, uh, that's true. Kumar's, Kumar ends his turn. Uh, Talik, before your turn starts, uh, everyone make a perception check. If it uh, as, uh Rhino, if this matters, it's hearing. Twenty-one. Uh, I do have advantage on hearing. I got fourteen. I got twenty-eight. <laughs> Rhino. Eighteen and uh, that's uh, ten plus ten. Twenty-two. All right, everyone is able to hear this then. Uh, from the tunnel that you were coming from. You hear footsteps, and they're, like, really fast. Someone is running this way. They are a distance away, but someone is running this way. This is really bad. Oh, boy. You don't hear any or sort of armor clanking, though. So whoever it is, they, are, they appear to be unarmed. It's probably Allie. Possibly. Tal Tal so is, it my, is it my turn? Yep. Okay. So before anything, I think I'm going to use that potion I got. So that would count as my bonus action, correct? Yep. Alright, so, okay, uh, so that's uh, 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Five. Um, that is 7 health. So now I'm at 16. Almost only, back to full. If only there were a way to get rid of my fire before my next turn. 
Well, you get to yeah. make the con- you make the Constitution check to see if you get rid of it, and then you take damage if you fail. Yeah, but that's the problem. I was hoping to somehow help me get rid of it instead of just roll and then fail. Hmm. Like stop, drop, and roll. I can move uh, forty, so I want to be a little fancy here. I want to like move over to Dan, push him, and then move over to Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, are you gonna like um, pour, pour something on him? Pour gasoline on I'm, him. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on top of the altar and then I'm gonna jump attack Bo. Oh damn. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna say make two acrobatics rolls. Uh, okay. do, do you have like a skill that lets you be better at jumping? Uh no. Oh. Uh that's a seventeen. And that is a nine. Alright. You jump onto the altar. All, all gracefully and dramatically, you push off going after Bo. You, your foot slips off slightly, and you're coming down at him. Roll the hit. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm really uh, putting down his oh, dot. Unnatural twenty. All right. Uh, you are going to uh, land on him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you don't hit him with your staff. You hit him with your you. Uh, so what do you make? What do you want me to put his dot? How much damage is that? Uh, just put it like beside him. How much uh, I, 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 I think that would count as unarmed. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So two damage. Two da- uh, two damage, and Since uh, I didn't use my fist, so no brass knuckle bonus. All right. Uh, so he takes two damage, and now both of us roll to see if we're prone. Um, what? Strength I'm saving throw? Just, just, just like a strength saving throw, you have to beat a certain level. Oh, uh, I got 22, so I'm good. Uh, he got 11, so he is prone now. <gasps> and I'm still up. Yep. Yeah. You, you, you looked at least to say, I meant to do that. Aha! <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! You do jazz hands. Uh, it's Bo's turn now, though. Unless okay, you want to do bonus. Uh, well, you already used your bonus action, so it's Bo's I turn. I used my bonus action on a potion, so... All right, uh, Bo uh, stands back up. He can't move now, basically, and he he takes out a short sword and he oh. swings at Lise. <gasps> oh, hey! Gotta beat fourteen. That one. <laughs> he shakes himself. So, uh, uh, he he takes he, he his, you his, his sword. I'm going to stab you with it. He reaches for his weapon and his hand cramps. <laughs> he pulls out his weapon and farts he, awkwardly. <laughs> he lets go, however, and it goes flying, and his sword embeds itself in this wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> He he, Bo, he glares everyone. and says, "This is why I use magic." And that typical ends the turn. <laughs> it's so typical wizard magic. can't. Typical wizard can't even wield a blade. Okay, Dan, do you want help? Yes, please. I would like to not be on fire. Okay, don't know what I can do about that except like dog drool lick all over you. <laughs> would you like that? Um. DM, yes. Would that work? Question <laughs> mark. You'd take damage, but sure. What if I, like, body tackled him and roll him on the ground? Uh, I would take damage from that. Fuck, You're, okay. If, uh, if you want to lick him, it'll give him advantage on his constitution saving throw, but you're going to take damage. Ryan, you have 23 extra health. Right I know. I was uh, Okay, I'm going to go take one, and I am going to move over here to Dan and put myself between him and ass face. Calder. Kumar. <laughs> Calder. Calder is all right, uh, lick him. Oh, wait, sorry, I did the wrong thing. There we go, <laughs> and I am going to lick. All right, uh, you take one. Fi- on this you take, dog. You take <laughs> one. There's no. There's no world to it. You take one fire damage, and when this is going to count as a bonus action, I guess. Oh, so oh. you can attack the other guy, D- Dan. Okay. Uh, Dan, on your next turn, you have advantage to your Constitution saving throw, and. If you fail, the fire will go away on its own after you take damage from it. Okay. 
All right, then. Since Hopefully I, I don't take since, too much. Damage. Since I only moved like 15 feet, I'm going to use the rest of my movement to zip over to Kubar. Yeah. Because I'm a fast wolf. We can move 50 feet every every seven seconds. Get him, Rover. Wolf. All right, I'm going to bite Kumar. Roll to hit. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, ten. No. <laughs> oh, you missed. Uh, nope, he, but I... He gets Wolf. out of the way. No. Yeah, he, he saw you coming. Yeah, but I got him against the wall. He's been against the wall of his own accord! Yeah, but now he has something else on the other side from the wall. Well, Lee, now, Lee, it's your, your Lee, it's your turn. Now he's You're, a wall sandwich. You are out of spells to cast. Mm. So you can melee him or use your hat. Use your cleric powers. Ooh. Mar. You gonna beat him up or blast him with some magic? I not entirely sure, honestly. Oh You've barely used your mace whole game. I know. I I am pretty sure I haven't used it. Maybe once or twice actually. Although the thing is, if Jerry does this, he has a negative modifier to strength. Well that is a problem. To a bonus of plus one though. Because uh because if you look at my bonus on my page, it does say plus one. Wait, where? No, it's for, uh, plus, one to, plus one to hit, but minus one for the damage it does. Yeah. Really, does you it? Could, you could oh, so it's just that. Hat. Okay. Hmm. Could. Could. <clears throat> yeah, like... Amy, after all, there's so far away, there's no way. Okay, let's use that magic. All right, roll 1d4 okay. and see what effect you get. Okay, it's a 25-foot cone of fire. Talik, oh, I'm sorry. I need, <laughs> I need to get out of here. Oh, every okay. enemy! Every enemy, oh. it, says, it specifically says enemy, then? Yes, it does. Yep, it's only, only, only hostiles. The hat knows. It, it's going to curve around, Talik. You can't move. Okay, well, Don't move, but you'll be fine. What role does Jerry need to make to hit him? It should stay there. Um, yeah, oh. Every enemy that gets hit takes 1d4 6 damage of fire. Uh, uh, fire uh, times your level. So, it doesn't even say anything about um, spell save. Then that's just going nope. that, to that's that's like, be an auto hit, then. Yep. Okay, d6. Oh, Five, you're going to hit so the king! <laughs> He's not an enemy. Ah! Yeah, he's, not an enemy. he's on. He's he... on the altar. We'll say he's on. All right. The altar. Yeah. All right. You're in. All right. So you're just straight up roll damage. Mm -hmm. So ten total. Ten I'm damage. Gonna crouch down. I'm gonna crouch down behind this guy. <laughs> Shield me, Bo. <laughs> he. Yep. He, okay. So you. Ta he takes that much damage, and uh, that's your only use of it before you take a long rest. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he takes. Hey, look a hat. What's in there? Ten. <laughs> ten fire damage. <laughs> And I'm going to roll to see if he avoids being on fire. He does not. He is burning now. <laughs> Max, your constitutional suck. He He's takes, an age. He takes four fire damage. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. Um, that's all I can do now. All right. Uh, and it's uh, the Tana's turn. Oh, guys, turn. All right, I'm yeah, gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rid of this because the fire's gone now. You've done it. All okay, right, Dan, Dan, how are you gonna heal yourself? All right, well, I do have advantage on my Constitution throw, and even if I fail it, it'll go away naturally after I get so damaged. So you might not die. Okay, that was a fail. Nope, I rolled a nine as the highest. Fuck! Was it a four? What was it? Wait, I it thought a, I, I, I rolled thought a Yash rolls the damage for yeah, the fire. Yeah, I, I rolled the damage for the fire. Okay, so that didn't count. <laughs> okay. One. Woo! Dan, Dan, Thank God. Dan, Thank Dan God. you're, you're, you're Sa actually lucky for once. <laughs> you're saved by the bow luck. <laughs> Safe, saved by bow's luck. 
Don't know who to thank on that. One. I'm I, I, I'm not gonna bo I'm not gonna look at chat anymore because it's going into roleplay again. And yeah, uh, they can they can keep doing I'm, that, but I'm not interested in seeing it. Okay, I'm gonna play the safe route, and I'm gonna drink my own potion of healing. All right, which 2D6 is two d four plus two. Two d six plus That's two. A bonus I believe. action. You sure it's two d six? No, it it was two two d four plus two earlier, I think. Okay, yeah, two d four. Sorry, at some point I said two d six, and no one corrected me. Three. Five. So I healed seven damage. I'm back to eight. You're, no, you're back to ten. You're back to ten. You were at three health because you only took one. Oh, three plus seven is ten. Yeah. So <laughs> you're nearly full. You're fine. Okay. You're back to double digits. Okay, and because I don't want to uh, rely on luck for this one, I'm just going to use one of my uh, one of my dead eye arrows and just fire it at Kumar. He's just going to take a hit. Yeah, I'm going to say you. Yeah. Fun. I'm gonna say you. Do you want to move up here anyway, so I can get advantage on my roll? Mm, I'm gonna say that even if you're using a dead eye arrow, if you're too close, then it won't work. No, I mean he could always fire first and then move. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he could do that. All right, that works. All right, so All right, dead eye arrow first. Dead eye arrow first. Roll damage. This is of course yeah. only if he wants to. Yeah, and then D8. Oh, max damage eleven. Ooh, he nice. is at 28 now. Now, she she's just going to saunter up to, to Kumar. <laughs> Roll for saunter. That's going to be D20. Uh... As long as you're within five feet of him, I can still get it. D20 performance modifier. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Dan, the saunter you're a ranger, was... right? Yes. Do you want to mount? Um, not in public right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first, what did you roll for saunter? I rolled seven for saunter. You attempt to saunter over, and then you kind of trip as you're going. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hi, asshole. Hi. It's my turn now. Oh, so Dan can't, like, hop on me? Not right. I'm gonna say no. That okay, not. I guess that's like a bonus action or something. If she already used that, and he finally beats the uh, poison. Yay! And now Maybe. he pulls out his own short sword and he's attacking both of you because he does that. People with short swords are assholes. Yeah. Uh, the one against Rhino was 18 to hit. Oh, that's a hit. Yep, you got me. Tana, 12 to hit. Miss. 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 I'm 16. All right. All right. Uh, That's fine. I can take it. Yeah, you can take that uh, four damage. Wait, hang on. Right, I keep forgetting to add dex to it. Seven. Okay, I'm at 15 then. I keep forgetting to add this stuff to it. I'm not complaining. All right. That's what he does. Uh, My turn. Uh, before you do anything, uh, you can all tell that the sound is getting louder. Uh, but at the same the time... The footstep sound or the this sound? Both. Oh. We got a lot of shit going on. Talik. Oh, right. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to hit him with my staff again. Why not? <laughs> just jab him in the goods. It's just like you oh. just r jumped forward, smacked down on him, then you stand up just pap. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a hit. I got unnatural twenty. I uh, remember you have advantage Woo! for it too. Oh, oh wait, yeah, no, no, no. He's, he's not. He's not. Pro, he's not prone anymore. Right. Okay. So yeah, unnatural twenty. Yeah, you hit him. Would I? Would I get advantage because he's not looking at me? Uh, uh no, no. Okay. Well, that's oh, still. A hit I thought we did way. that. All right. Still, point is you hit. So roll for damage. Yeah. Um. It's a uh, 10. Max damage. All right. He is bloodied. Woo! We're getting and I can finally, use, and I can use my bonus it. action to try to punch him. Go for it. Roll the hit. Ooh, that is a 23. Yeah. Now let's see what my damage roll is. That is only a 2. Okay, I was expecting a 1, so you did better than I thought. Well, Rhino, it, it's a plus... It's a, Plus one with the brass knuckles. <laughs> I stand my ground. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, now it's Bo's turn. 
He's mad with you right now. I would wonder why. One actually, blast did with fire, the other keeps hitting I, it. Actually, wait a minute. My unarmed strikes are dexterity bonus, so that would actually be four overall. Oh, oh so okay. he's uh, so he takes how we much? We need more to damage? keep remembering that because you punched a lot of people for a little. How bit. much more damage does he take? Two more Two damage. More. So it would be All right. four for that punch. All right. He first he's going to try to beat his burning. Oh. He fails. Oh. I somehow dropped my D four because it had to happen. I'll re-roll that. D four, please. I'm rolling it inside a roll of duct tape, and it keeps hitting the edge and bouncing out. All right, there we go. He takes two more damage. So two more. All right. Now, he's bad. He casts Blur on himself. Oh. He's censoring his junk, so you can't hit it. <laughs> so how does that affect him? It uh, makes him blurry. You can't tell how big his penis is. Blur. Blur. Uh, his body becomes blurred, shifting and wavering to all who can see him. For the duration, any creature has disadvantage on attack rolls against him. Uh, an enough. attacker is immune to this effect if it doesn't rely on sight, as with blind sight, or can see with through illusions, such as with true sight. Point being, Ooh. he is now uh, doing this to himself, uh, so you have disadvantage on attacks against him. And, and it's concentration based. It's concentration based, which means he can't cast other concentration spells, but he can still do shit. Yeah, and but I'm saying like, if we manage to hit it, it has a chance of going away. And one thing he does is he tries to run. Wait a minute. Opportunity running attack. away from me. Yeah, attack yeah. Of opportunity. Oh my god, fuck off with the updates. Uh, attack of opportunity, yes, but he's blurred. You have you both you both get attacks of opportunities, but you both have disadvantage. Good luck. Um Oh I, I still hit it. I him. forgot how this works. My disadvantage to it was a twenty still. Okay. So what what do I do then? Uh Roll to attack, Jerry. Yeah, but, okay, with strength, that means I get a negative modifier. Minus one, right? Uh, Plus one because uh, you're proficient. Wait, what? Oh, You're, ba you're okay. basically Even... rolling to attack with a weapon of yours, and also you have disadvantage. Okay. Okay, so I got five. <laughs> I, got I got 16 five. twice. Um, so oh, that's so, 17. So you, you yeah. hit him. Both of you hit him. I do five damage. Uh, okay, so he has to roll concentration twice. Uh, yeah, but Unless I, guess, I break it. So the point is, if you still what, both hit. So okay, Jerry, uh, how much damage do you do? Was okay. My mate just says one d six bludgeoning, and I got a six uh, roll. So, so five. that would be five. Because yeah. Of okay, five strength. Okay, that that's how it works. All okay, right, two it. concentration rolls. What do I have to beat again? Ten. Beats it. Beats it. Okay, so he's, he's still blurred. Still he's, blurred. He's still blurry, and he gets over here. And uh, it's Sodrak's turn now. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm a bike shoot out of Kumar. Roll the As a wolf, I have limited options. <laughs> Roll the hit. All right, now I get advantage. 16. You got him. Yay. And I roll for damage. Uh, okay, just double checking that. Nine. Nine. He is at 19 now. And I try to hold him with my teeth. As you do that, he proclaims hellish rebuke. Oh, son of a bitch. He, he was bound to do that sooner or later. So Yeah, what, he's been getting nailed. <laughs> what, do you, what do you take from that again? Uh, um, whatever it says. I just have it written down on a piece of paper here. I don't okay, know. Okay, hold on. I'm almost at it. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to find my D20 because I dropped it. How do I? Get Hellish it? rebuke is is dexterity saving throw. Two D10 fire damage on a failed save. Half as much on a successful one. Okay, so I do dex saving throw. Yeah, against his uh his saving. All right, because I'm a wolf, I have more dex, so my saving throw is better. Okay, so that would be. Oh well, <laughs> that wouldn't have mattered much. Six. <laughs> All right then. Uh, you fail. So how much damage is he taking? Two d ten. Two d ten. Uh. 
18. Oh, Ooh. shit. You knock me out of my wolfness. <laughs> and you damage me. For three. It's a fuck. What? Yeah, what you said, GLaDOS. <laughs> <laughs> you went robotic there for a moment. What Glad were you saying? GLaDOS says fuck. <laughs> that, that did sound like she said it. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> I did not plan for this. Well, now you're good. All right. Okay, I I was just recapping what exactly just happened. Yep. Uh, you bite down on him, and he believes hellish rebuke, and you were burst basically into flames. And when the flames die down, you're there, back in your dwarf form, and you look down. And you're like, this is awkward. Yeah, because <laughs> you're still you're still trying to bite him with your teeth. It, and he, no, right, he, he kind of just pushes right. you off. Now Rhino can't transform again. Yeah, yeah that I was. Can. Lease, it's on you yep. now. Okay. Get him, Jerry. So, I could. So, I could attack. Or, I could cast Fairy Fire. You can still do that? Yep. Yeah, he can. I have one spell slot left. One do it. Spell. Do it. Hit him. With Fairy Fire? Do it. You know, the thing that uh, gives us advantage, which means he doesn't get disadvantage, uh, doesn't cause us to get disadvantage. So basically, and then when you, it goes just, away. you would just roll normally at this point until uh, yeah. until he loses concentration. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't you still have to roll to hit? Which means uh, there's advantage for that? No, no, it's a saving throw. Oh. Yeah. Or, also, I could do another, t a, 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 like a magic attack, and still a saving throw. Up um, to you. But, do what you yeah. will. Hmm. I'm just thinking. Okay. I think Fairy Fire. All right. Uh, That's 30 saving throw. Nine. You fail. Yes. <laughs> now He's got the you, glow. The purple glow. The and lovely purple course. glow returns, but he's also he's also got the blur. <laughs> <laughs> the that blurry purple glow, see. which makes him actually kind of visible, which is really weird because you would think that would make it a bit harder to see, but it doesn't. Think of it just like he now looks like someone turn the bloom on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and that's all I can do. You run up so beside you just him? So moved up to him so he can't get away? Yeah. Without opportunity. Tana! What's up? <laughs> oh. Do shit. Well. And make it good. Well, I've been a wolf for a while, so I feel awkward like this. <laughs> well, since, since I'm close to uh, Kumar here, I ask him the joke. Hey, did you hear the one about the sword? That's like your catchphrase this time. I don't give a fuck about your jokes. Fine then, I'll just stab you. <laughs> God damn it, die. You 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 look promising landing on that twelve, but then you turned into a two immediately. Ooh, that's a miss. Like, like you were just you were just like saying, fuck you. That's a miss. You know what? Fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what did it land on after you threw it? I'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna allow whatever it landed on. Damn, how far did he throw it? <laughs> landed on nine. Uh, nine plus <clears throat> what? Plus five. Plus. That would be fourteen. Uh, I'm gonna allow you to use that one. Uh, you get to do the. Are you using the short sort of trickery? Yes, the trickery. You do the. You do the phantom damage afterwards. So you 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 swung and he thought you missed and then he just feels a pain in his chest. Two more I think damage. He learned by now. I mean, he hasn't been hit by it. Only a uh, bow did. So seven. Ha! You didn't hurt. Fuck. Ugh, my spleen. That's not in your chest. I don't even know where my spleen is and it hurts. All right, uh, now it's Kumar's turn, though, unless you're doing anything else, but you provoke attack of opportunity if you move. Mm, nope, I'm not going to do anything. Kumar good for now. is going to do the thing again where he swings at both of you with his short sword. Oh. Uh, my AC is higher like this. Well, it sucks because he nat 20 on you. Son of a bitch. Oh, dear. I 
And he tooed on Tana, so I don't think that's going to hit. Never mind. All right, he hit. Okay, he nat 20s on Sawdrac. Son of a bitch, that's a crit. <laughs> so that means I get to roll 2d6 plus the two piercing. Yep. Nine. Oof. Well, you suck. Actually, wait, that's wait, 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 wait. 12, because I had dex. I forgot. I keep yep. forgetting that. 12. Well, I was waiting for it. You can heal at least right now. A little bit. You. <laughs> you, have a, you have a potion. Yeah. I've got other things too, but that still hurt a hell of and a lot. And speaking of, as his bonus action, Kumar takes out a potion of healing. And sure, no. roll to uncork. That one. That one. Okay, that he one. got 18 this time, so he's okay. good. Uncork successful. <laughs> he is drinking it, and that's 2d4 plus 2. Uh, okay, okay, that didn't count as a roll because I dropped it. All right. Well, uh, the most, most he can heal is a 10. He rolls. He heals four. <sighs> <laughs> All right, he's at twenty-one. Yeah, he he healed the phantom damage. Basically, yeah. And a little extra. All right, and now it's uh back up to Talik. Mm. Hmm. What do I want to do? <laughs> I'm gonna throw a dart at him this time. I want to be different. At bow. Yep. Rolled hit. So I just do do a normal one. Oh, that is a 21. That is going to hit. You got him. Yep. And the dart damage is 1d4 plus my dex. Uh, that's only a 3. Still damage. Damage is but, damage. But I can do my bonus action to run up behind him and punch him. What about concentration? Oh, yeah. I hit him with the dart. Does he break concentration? Sorry. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry, I was looking at something else. Uh, he nat one. He only he only loses Rope. concentration. He kind of just stands there. He has like, a slight aneurysm. Uh, and because he's running away, I get a, I get advantage when I punch him in the back. All right. Uh, attack. Well, I, I I missed I missed that one. That was only a fourteen. Okay. But, but you you have advantage now. I I did the advantage roll, Dan. Okay, just making sure. I missed. All right, uh, is it? I'm fired, and I'm, you know. Is it Bo now? The rest. Yep, it's his turn, and he is currently running from both of us. And shiny. Bo shakes himself out of whatever stupor he was in, and he is going to do another scorching ray. Cause goddamn, you guys get away from him. <laughs> he is going to okay. fire. He's going to fire two at Talik and one at Lise. Oh dear. So Lise. Hey, uh what? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, there's something I completely forgot. Okay. And I have, should been using it. What? Warding oh. Flare. What's that? Um, do? imposes divine light, and when I get attacked, um, and if they can see me, if they ha can be opposed by, um, like vision be, uh, be enhanced, they will have a disadvantage on their attack roll against me. Okay, is, is this something you have right to cast, now? or is this a reflex? It's a reflex. Okay. So he gets disadvantage on Jerry, I guess. Mm -hmm. I just have to do it before. All right, know. so rolling to attack you. So disadvantage on this? Mm-hmm. Uh, the lowest one was 19. <laughs> Ooh. Fuck. And this what? is his reaction. So since he used this, he does not get an opportunity attack if that comes up. Yeah. Uh, uh, so he's going to be hitting Lease uh, for Talik. Uh, the first one's going to miss. The second one's going to hit. All right. How, how much? So, uh, like how much damage? Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Lease takes a bolt right to the the chest. Jerry, don't die. For eleven. Jerry's dead. He's dead. He's, he's not dead. He's oh. in dying. He is unconscious, and Talik... That means... Talik takes 11. Oh, I hate you. Okay. Okay, oh, so I'm no. at 5. Do you know what this means, too? What? 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 That means the fairy fire is gone, isn't it? I think so. I guess so, yeah. but he, his blur is also gone. So yeah, so... Back to neutral. Yeah. Oh. Well, we're relying on you two guys to help us out here. 
you're kind of far away, but okay. And we're kind of dealing with something. All right, uh, that was Bo's turn. Sondrak, how are you doing, Mr. Five Health? Oh, wow, holy crap. Kumar, out of the people that you see on screen, has the most health. Tana's the only one of you guys to have double digits. Yeah. Well, Rhino we can don't heal know, himself. We don't know Rhino, Bo's health. Rhino can yeah. heal himself. That's why I said on screen. All right, Sodrak, what you doing? What you doing, buddy? All right. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it is concentration, and because you were knocked unconscious, it automatically ends. So. All right. I'm, uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to drink my potion. Okay, 2d4 plus 2. Rhino? I'm uh, doing the math. 9. Okay, so you're good. 14. Unless he crits me again. <laughs> oh, he will. He doesn't have bow luck. Oh, is he far enough away that Bo's fear of influence doesn't affect him? <laughs> All right. And, uh, well, let's else do so. I'm going to – hmm. I guess I'm going to – I'm going to use my quarterstaff on Kumar. Roll the hit. Yep. Eight. No. All right. This All right. is getting rough. And that's that. All right. Least death saving throw. You got to beat ten, I believe. Uh, it? yes. Ten. Ten for success. Any lower, it's a fail. Twenty is auto get up with a one health, and a one is a double fail. Jerry? So does, like... Basically, let him roll. Jerry, just roll no the D20, D20 no mods. Okay. Four. Oh, that is, that's one fail. That that's one strike. That is one... Oh, boy. This is getting bad. All right, uh, Tana. All right. Well, the only way to really help, I can't really do anything right now, so I'd have to attack Kumar. And I'm not going to trash talk him. Not going to trash talk. We're just going to roll a nine with the trickery sword. It completely misses. Um, God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant... I'm sorry. I meant 14 total because I rolled the 9 and I had the 5 bonus. I'm sorry. I'm, oh, okay. Uh, it's, you, get, it's getting late into the... Yeah, I, 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 I get you. Uh, he, he gets hit with the D4. Hey, I, I actually got a 3 that time. Nice. Okay. He's down to 18. Oh, boy. And it's Kumar's turn now, unless you're doing other stuff. Sorry. I keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. I almost want to uh, try and cut off Bo before he can get away. How are you going to manage that? I will, I, will say, I will say the pedestal is only about a foot high. Make of that what you will. You could theoretically you could shoot, shoot him. It. You could theoretically shoot him. I... I have an idea for later, but I'm going to stand here for now. All right. I'll end my turn. Kumar, he is going to... At this point, he just doesn't like Tana. He doesn't even care about the uh, the dwarf anymore. He, uh, he switches out his short sword, and he pulls out a dagger, and he's going to stab you with it. Hmm. That's a dick move. I know. He's not wanting... Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> he pulled it out from the wrong end, and he stabbed his own hand. He drops a dagger, and it was a poison tip dagger. Ooh, oh, how much damage is that? He, well, first off, he gives himself one damage. Then, oh. then, for the constitution, he fails. 
and he takes for poison four damage. He is okay. At, so how many was that total? He's at thirteen. He's at thirteen health left. Thirteen health left. Yes. And know. that was his turn. And also now there's a poison ta a dagger on the ground. <laughs> and now it's Talik's turn. I don't even know what I should do here. Should oh. I try to help Jerry up? He, uh, Bo's right there, so I don't know how that factors in. Uh, I'm going to say that you're not leaving the area. I'm going to say it's not going to provoke any opportunity of attack. But uh, if you help him up, you can't. Uh, Bo will not provoke opportunity of attack from you. Just because I think that makes sense. I think that, I think, eh, what do you, does that seem right? Uh, let's see. Are you trying to stabilize him? Jerry, yeah. Yeah, That's you nice. have to, you have to make a successful, okay. you have to pass a medicine check, which is a 10. I could probably do that. My medicine is a 4. You would Pretty get him up. You, could do you that. would get him up with one health, I believe. So, yeah. Well, okay. you, he would not have any health, but he would. I mean, but he would still. He would not have to make any saving throws. Okay. So it's basically still, like we're kind of making it to where we can continue what we're doing, and he won't bleed out. Right. Yeah. But he'll he'll still guess, remain unconscious. I guess I'll attempt to bring up Jerry. All right, stabilize him. D uh, D twenty medicine. Get higher than ten, or get ten or higher. Oh, okay. You're in luck, Jerry. I mentioned you had a 14 overall. Okay. Jerry oh, is not, stabilized now. He's still, he's, he still can't do anything, but he don't, doesn't have risk of dying right now. As long as he doesn't get attacked. Yeah, yeah as long as he doesn't get attacked, he'll be okay. And I'm going to use my, my bonus action to punch this guy. Go for it. Roll a hit. Ooh, that's a 23. You got him. And don't okay. forget your bonuses. Okay. Well, that's only a four overall, but still, damage is damage. All right, four damage. He is looking very, very beaten right I, now. I like to think that, like, as Tim like uh, leans down and helps Jerry out, he just like punches Bo in the ankle. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, Ugh. he's arc like, Tim. ow, fucking coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, now it's Bo's turn. Okay. He. Let me, let me just double check that this one does what I think it does before I say if he does it or not. Uh, I'm scared. He is going to cast Poison Spray. Oh, dear. Oh, the cantrip. He extends his hands towards you. He extends his hands uh, towards... Is this to, uh, the toward Jerry or just... Only, t only Talik. It's only going to be Talik. Okay. Projects a puff of noxious gas from his palm. You must succeed on a constitution saving throw. I assume okay. beat my spell save DC. Yeah. yeah. What is your spell save DC? 17. 17. 17. 17. Well, I only got a 10. Where? You take 1d12 poison damage. I, I might die here. Yep. I'm very I'm going to die. Well, you're going to go unconscious. You take 3 poison damage. You're oh. not unconscious. I believe this means he's poisoned now, right? I don't yeah. know. And I, it doesn't say anything about it, so I'm going to say he's not poisoned. He just took poison damage. So you're at two now. Uh, dear. He Help started us. from his hand in your face. Help us, team. We're good. We're trying. Sodrak, go ahead. Oh, boy. You guys could finish that guy off. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Or is it possible for you two to like run halfway across the room and heal us? Uh, opportunity attacks. Uh, yeah, we we'd have to knock a uh, Kumar down. Well, he, well, you could just tank a hit for the good of the team, right now. That is true. However, for me to get over there would either take me two turns or a solid turn, and I would basically get to do a bonus action only. Uh. I think I'm going to take my chances probably with beating Kumar. Okay. All right. Uh, test my stuff here. I accidentally closed Twitch chat, by the way, so if anything's being asked in there, let me know, please. All right. Well, 
Is it still mostly RP at this point? I don't know. I, it was when well, I closed Sora, it. Sora was just saying that uh, you helped help them get through a rough patch in their life. Aww. That's nice. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. That I was able okay. to help. So. It's, always, it's always nice when, when the stuff we do because we love to do it, it helps others get through rough patches in their lives. That's, it's, especially, that's always it's, one of the... Especially when... Hey, when, hey Rhino, when, can you send this other guy through a rough patch in his life? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I was going to say, especially, especially, especially when, when you think about it, the reason we do this is just because uh, let's fuck around, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm going to do something. I mean, we don't have to stream this or upload it to YouTube, but we like it. Yeah. yeah, we lo- I am I going love to doing transform this. using my bonus action. Okay, I'm only going to let you do it if you say it's morphing time. <laughs> it's morphing time. I take the form of a bear. A brown bear, to- specifically. I was about to say, Tyrannosaurus, the building caves in. <laughs> no, that's like level 16. I can't do that, like, ever. <laughs> if you're rolling okay, that 20, anyways, I am a br- I am a brown bear. Okay. Kubar, Are you a regular bear? Are you a regular bear or a dire bear? No, I'm a brown bear, which is apparently statistically stronger than a black bear for some reason. Okay. Is it stronger than a dire bear? I don't know. I don't know if there's a dire bear in this. I don't Anyways, think so. I don't there think is. Dire bears, dire bears exist. Boy, he's a brown bear. What do you do? I'm a brown bear. I am going to use my multi-attack on Kumar. Oh. I don't know what that does, but roll the hit. Basically, uh, he's it's... doing two attacks. Yep. Because I can do that. Because I am a bear and fuck you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am a bear and fuck you. All right. First one, 17. You hit. Second one, 21. You hit. <laughs> All right. I can do what I want because I'm a bear and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to right. I'm, I'm put that on Twitter real quick. Uh, well, you... Brian, it's, it's too bad you're not a dire bear because they have First 105 health. First one is 10 damage. So let's get rid of that. <laughs> dire, dire bears get 105 health and then claw plus 19 melee damage. Holy fuck. Okay, and uh, second one is 14 damage. So he is murdered. He is totally done. Tana can help the team. Yeah. Kumar Roar, is gonna... bear noises. Bear noises. Tana nice. can rush over here and potentially heal me or Jerry. Although I it's Jerry's turn first because he's actually alive. Well, he's think... still he's still yeah. unconscious. Yeah. Oh, have to roll. Okay. So if he's okay. if he was gonna roll, it would be to wake up. Dan's I don't think turn... if he was gonna roll, it would be to roll over. <laughs> Dan's turn, and he can run thirty five feet, so he could actually come over here. Wait. So wait. So can Jerry can roll to wake up? Um, oh, I think can he? Yeah, shouldn't I be able to roll to wake up? But it, it, but I can fail, and then I have to wait until next turn to do it. Isn't that how it works? I think that's how it is. I'm gonna check to make sure. There's... What would Jerry have to roll to wake okay. up? Okay. I assume it'd be similar to uh, the death saving throw, but he doesn't have risk of dying if he fails. Yeah. So, just as long as you don't roll a one. One, you can wake up if you beat a 10. We'll say that. How's that? All right. Roll d20, okay. no mod. <laughs> well, I did get a one. Okay, you're 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 down. Yep. I, I got two. Okay, stay down. Okay. <laughs> you're, still, you're still unconscious, but you're not going back into saving okay. throws. Tana, come save us. Roll. Um, <laughs> thing is, uh, this Max was saying this guy was pretty weak. You could use a dead eye shot. Although, do you want to run over and save us first? Um, Technically, Jerry's I, fine, and so are you. I have I can, two health. You can't get over, over here. there. I'm going to go over here just to get closer. Dan can run then... 35 feet. Is that too much? No, that's that's how far he got with 35 feet. Okay. Yeah. One, two. And then, yep, he's good. And then I am going to shoot a Deadeye arrow at a... At Bo? What's his face? Yes, Bo. Roll I, for damage. Why did I call him What's His Face? Because <laughs> you don't care right anymore. There, Roll for damage. Right there. Two letters. Total of five. How do you want to do this? Holy oh, shit, he got a kill shot again. Dan is the master of kill shots. I'll take let's, it. <laughs> let's just give him the old, 
old arrow crown. It just goes right through his temples. Unicorn. <laughs> like one of those joke hats. Yes, oh, one wait. of those joke hats. Oh, from the side. So you I just so, realized during during this entire thing, the king is still there, and there's someone running down here. Yeah, Tana. Uh. Tana runs around the side. She makes a jump and in midair draws an arrow, fires it. Bo hears the noise. He starts to turn and it just pierces through his temple, comes out the other end, and he's just frozen there for just a moment. And then he just falls over in a pool of his own blood. He is Surprisingly dead. Surprisingly accurate. Hey, Jerry, you have a cuddle buddy down in there. <laughs> Unconscious Jerry rolls over. <laughs> now, Yay. now that you've done that, uh, there's still uh, this dark thing over the king's body. Which is bad, I, I would think. Or, now, thank god that bastard's dead. At, now, you, the running is finally close enough that, uh, conveniently just as the battle ends, in runs Allie. Hi, Allie. Oh, so wait, sorry, I'm a bear. Brr. <laughs> she sees uh, the bear and is like, what the fuck happened down here? <laughs> Yeah, I, rub, I can't talk as a bear. <laughs> I rub my head in pain. Don't even ask. I'll we'll explain it afterward, but we gotta get this guy out of here now. I would think. There, uh, list can't move. There's there's an evil spirit possessing the king. I just want to go home. Rrr. Bear for I can move the king. <laughs> Let, uh, she says, "Listen, there's not much time right now." The ritual's already started the moment one of you lost blood. Oh. oh. Well, well, that's happened a lot. <laughs> yeah, that that's pretty irksome. So how do we fix this? You're going to have to do what you always do, and fight. Oh, but shit. What, what? We're not in fighting shape. I can help I mean, you. Brr. I can help you. I can help you. Gather round. Brr. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, someone, someone, has to, someone has to carry oh. Jerry. Um, bring, bring your uh, bring your unconscious annoying friend. I guess I'll help him too. Do I have to do a strength check for this? Uh, yes, how, about, how about get Bear to do it? <laughs> yeah, uh, get get the Bear man to do it. I have a strength of nineteen. All right, do you it. you do drag Jerry you, you drag it. Jerry's limp body over. Thanks, Druid buddy. <laughs> you all gather round. She is she kind of like. She seems to, like, be concentrating for a moment. She just closes her eyes and focuses. And the four of you begin to feel refreshed. Just your energy spikes, and it's as though you have taken a long rest. Yay. Oh, hell This is, like, yeah. the second time today we've had a full heal. Ugh. This one's a true full heal. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you okay. guys now, you are about to fight the final boss. Okay. We are. I don't. Uh, we're. We have, I we think. Have time for this? We have time. That's like we have time regarding in terms of like, we have time. But do you want the time? <laughs> I kind of want to finish it because otherwise we're gonna have to end this camp time and then same what? session. You cut there. Basic, basically, let's finish this so that we can start a new campaign instead of next time thirty minute fight. That's it. I kind of do want to finish, but at the same time, it's late. It's I feel like we had more votes for finish. I'll tell, I'll tell, I, I'll tell you this much: the fight is not, the fight shouldn't be as big a slog as the one you just had. Okay. I, okay. I was about to say I, that, I, that fight took us two hours. Let me just say, I just really hope it's under an hour. Okay. We'll do our best. I have. All right, you all feel. Let it be known, though, because of how late it is, I am going to get a. You're going to what? Okay. I'm going yes, to get a sandwich which while we're doing this. Yeah. All right. Are, are you still going to be talking with us? Yeah. I'm just going to mute myself whenever I eat. All right. Okay. All right. She heals you. She heals you all and says, "Listen, the spirit of Chartreuse is possessing the king. I'm sure you've realized this already. But when, sure. she, yeah. but when Chartreuse takes on a mortal form, she herself becomes mortal. So this, while it is what we have fought to prevent." It is your only chance to get rid of her once and for all. Is there anyone who in order to kill Chartreuse? What, wh who said what? <laughs> I said it's... bear noises. Damn I said, is there any way we could save the king? The king will be fine. Mostly. 
Once, once the king takes enough damage, when he is on the brink of death, that is when Chartreuse will expel herself. And then she will be weak. I don't know what she will be weak to. I've searched through the text as much as I could. All I saw was that she must find the guiding light. Oh. I knew it. Murder. I knew it. We have a for that. <laughs> um, Dan, Dan, your plot point item is coming through. You mean the compass arrow? Yes. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, well, I would pick that up because otherwise it might have been fucked. But you'll uh, have to. I, but you'll have I, to be. He... But you'll have to be quick. Once you do enough damage, just... to the, once you do enough damage to the king, Chartreuse will expel herself, but only for a time to rev to revive her body. She will then take it back, and well, the process will repeat. Well, don't worry, I got this. I just have a, I have a, I have the sly smile on my face. If you not won on the guiding arrow shot, I will kill myself. <laughs> I, I will too. I'll, I'll take one of the points. Heart. All right. You cut out the. I guess there was two. Graphics. I'll take one of the poi farts. <laughs> the poi farts. The poi farts. <laughs> All right. I, I. I. Okay. Now, here's the thing. She can't be fought here. We need to get the king through that door. Um, she, point, she points to the wall that's up ahead. How do we open the door? All I know is... Uh, all I know is... Bo was reading it to me one time. I bugged him for hours and hours. He told me that it will only open with the special key. Special key? Questioning bear noises? I don't remember us picking up any special keys. Maybe it's still on Bo. I guess... Oh, yeah. Let's search the body. All right, yeah, do you search all the bodies search the body. or just Bo? Just Bo. I don't think the others are too important. I well, think I'll, we can probably... Search... We can loot afterwards. I mean... I'll, Dick, I'll, Dick still piece. Search, I'll still search Kumar in case he has a spare key. Actually, that's a good question. Are, did we get enough XP to reach level 3 or no? I'm going to say no because level 3 level up takes a while. <laughs> yeah, Fair enough. We'll have to worry about that another time. Okay. We uh, probably won't, because I'm, this will be the end. I'm just going to say this. Uh, looting the bodies, you find the weapons that they use, and of course their uh, absolver cloaks. Uh, but you do not find anything else uh, of value. You find mm, a total noises. You find a total of two healing potions, however. Oh. And, and, right, you, find, well, and you find gold, but fuck that. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll take the healing potions just for safety's sake. Uh, who gets to hold them? Sojak already has one. Who? Right, noises. Noises. I'm missing one. And I used one I, of mine, so actually, did I, think we, use his... I think we all used ours. Everyone oh, yeah, used one. Every, we'll use every, everyone, everyone used one, I believe. Okay, then I guess uh, we'll just take them and use as needed. Bear yeah. noises. Okay, well, we get it, Rhino. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just. I think Talik should get at least one because he doesn't have natural healing magic. That's fair. All right, you are searching and. Uh, as you search, Allie is thinking to herself, and she says, No, I don't think it was a physical key. He kept saying something about the key within. That only a select oh, few God. had it. Oh! I smile slyly, and I walk over to the door. So, key, you say? Oh! <laughs> what do you do when you're at the door? Okay, so I don't waste. So I don't do anything stupid and waste my key points here. What am I supposed to do? Uh, can I, make, can an I use make, an, on the door? make an insight check. Twenty-one. You feel a strange connection with the door itself, as though it, its power is attempting to connect to yours. You place your hand on the door, and you feel yourself briefly go into an almost meditative trance. And then when you uh, snap out of it, the door is slowly rising upwards. <laughs> you guys didn't really think you were going to get through this. You guys didn't. You guys didn't really think that you were going to go through all this without a pun, were you? <laughs> I guess not. But <laughs> I, I, I was how was Bo going to get through this? With, by using someone else, obviously, or I breaking mean, or breaking the door down. <laughs> technically speaking, anyone in the world has key. Monks just have a better connection to it. Yeah. All right, the door has opened. Oh, I get it now, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> could he we is have tired. just left? 
<laughs> no, I think he was just doing a character thing. Oh. Okay. Do Although you... literally, I only I only got like a few like, uh, like ten seconds. Before. I look back at the group and I told them to follow in. Okay. Do we carry the king, king, or is he gonna wake up and follow us evilly? <laughs> He's not waking up. <laughs> Put him on my bear back. Okay. On the onto the bear's back. Uh, who's approaching the king? Uh, Tana. Make a Constitution saving throw. Uh oh. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Five. You find that you can't get close to the king. The dark aura is holding you off. Uh, shoot. I can't get him. Liz, Can you I... do it. Can I, the bear, go do it? <laughs> I would think Jerry might my, have a better chance because he's good my, constitution. My light will allow me power through the darkness. Let Jerry try it. Are you going to try it? Are you just going to go over and try to pick him up? Yep. Constitution saving throw. Uh, saving throw. Okay. That's a two for you. Yep. Twenty. Not net twenty. Not net twenty. Yeah. yeah. You're able to power through the darkness. You, your God is smiling upon you and giving you the strength you need to pull the king free. And as you remove him, he's not very heavy. As you remove him from the stone pedestal, the darkness dissipates. But it seems to like swirl around in the air above instead of being closer to the ground. You can tell that your time is limited to do this. I like to think that Jerry's God gives pl you keep plus. Plus one. You keep breaking out. Yeah, Jerry's God did something. I, okay. said, I like to think Jerry's God. <laughs> God, you're breaking <laughs> at, at every point. Jerry's God. And yes, I did cut out intentionally. Right now. I'm, starting, I'm starting to think this space is not good for. I wouldn't yeah. think so. Basically, Jerry's God did something for once. Let's go. All right. Uh, you carry him into the next room. Ali comes along with you. I'm going to leave the feet thing up if I can. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, wait, you cut off a little bit. Yeah, I, I, there's, a, there's a little bit I actually cut off, like, right here that I'm going to put back. There. All right. Fair enough. Now you enter this final room and it is a it is another chamber. It is a more square shape. There's a strange corner of it that you can't access because there's a list of names. <laughs> the and name of the absolvers the no, this is totally how it's designed. It's very strategic, okay? There are various, uh, there are various, like, uh, bits of loot, presumably sacrifices to chartreuse in the corners. And in I think the Tim just got called. And in the very middle is just a simple circle drawn in the ground. All right, so battle positions, everyone. This is where I'm going to be. You know what? I'm going to just... Just because I want each corner to have different colors. <laughs> All right, uh, Jerry, I assume you're going to be putting the king down in the center of the circle or whatever? Yes, that would probably be good. All right, you put him down in the center, and then where do you retreat to afterwards? Or do you stand there like an idiot? I was about to say, I, say I was trying to get some space between us all so that at Chartreuse couldn't just point a hand and attack all of us. I, I, mm. okay. all right. Uh, the king is in the center. Once I not on eraser, Ali uh, is waiting in the previous room because she does not want to die. So she's waiting in the previous room for you. Once this is finished, it's understandable. All right, is everybody here? Rhino. All right, we're missing at least one person. 
I'm right, man. Oh, he's here. He's just eating a sandwich. All right. Uh, Tim, are you here? He's still doing his thing. Uh, Jerry, you're here? Yep. All right. Uh, just a matter of waiting now on the other two. Well, I'm pulling chat up on my phone just to have something to look at. Instead of this, a really quick break. This shouldn't be too long a fight, trust me. I'm hoping not. Still gotta wake up tomorrow. There was a... I was originally planning to have this be, like, a really long fight following the bow fight, okay. but under the circumstances, I am going to make it interesting, but not long. Okay, I'm here. What are we doing? We're just waiting on Is Rhino. Is that because the bow one ended up... Yeah, the bow one took a lot longer than I expected it to. Alright. When everyone is ready, you are in position. The darkness, uh, which has followed you from the previous room, continues to swirl around the king. And it, so se we're... it seems to be drawing power from the various bits of bounty and loot from in the corners. It even seems to be drawing a bit of power from your scars and what remains of your wounds after they were healed. No, not the paint blotches. Are you still a bear, Rhino? Yeah. He never shook his transformation. I right. can stay a bear for uh, an hour like this. All right. Uh, soon, the king's body begins to stand up. And he it's not at all creepy. <laughs> he stands. He cracks his muscles like someone just waking up from a long nap. He turns to face you, and he is like... These blank eyes. Just no pupils. Pure white. And he reaches back and he pulls out a great axe. Ooh. Where the fuck was he hiding that? Roll for initiative. I think, it, I think it's an ethereal great axe. Okay, I was about to say, up his kingly ass. Ooh, I got 20. Jesus. Well. I rolled a 4. Total. What'd you what? get? Eight total. Okay. I got 20, so probably going first again. I will let you know in a second. I got done with my sandwich, and I'm just getting back in my other spot. All right, Jerry? Uh, 12. Okay. I... 19. All right. Uh, so... It's going to go uh, from first to last. Talek, Sodrak, Chartreuse, uh, Lise, and Tana. He called her Chardy. Man, I was hoping to at least go before everyone got a melee attack. Think of it this way. Uh, you get to get... They have the chance of uh, forcing Chartreuse out of the body. Yeah, so, and you, you will get to do the killing blow again. True. Sure, true. All right, uh, let's go it from the bottom up. So, uh, all so Tana. Excuse me. Right, right. Wait, where are we putting our names? Uh, lower right as usual. Try to try to just ignore the little bit of stuff that's gonna be over, and remember to put health beside it. I apologize to anyone who hears Spectre's breathing. <laughs> ASMR from a dog. Yeah, you can't see my you can't see my health with that marker in the way. Don't yeah, yeah just leave it there. That's fine. Uh, Lease, I'll do you. Hang on. Hey. Can someone do mine? I can't reach my mouse right what's, now. What's what's Jerry's health? Twenty. 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 Lease, my keyboard is sideways right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is also twenty. Well, next up is uh, have... next up is Chartreuse, who has mystery health. So you got twenty. That's a, that's an oh, not a zero. Twenty Sodrak. And then I'll add my bear health here in a second. All right, and uh, go ahead, Tim, with yours. Yep. 
All right. Let the battle begin, Talek. I don't want to get too close to him to start off, so I'm just going to throw a dart. All right. Uh, roll the hit. <laughs> hey, a god possessing the king of the kingdom throws a dart. <laughs> uh, well, Max, shut up, because I got a 20. <laughs> nat nat yeah, bullseye. Yeah, bullseye! That was a nat 20. <laughs> All right. Oh. You, he, you, Chartreuse. Okay, you know what? Roll damage first. Chartreuse box your dart. He okay, so I roll, you want me to roll both of these first? Uh, both? Because it's yeah, a crit. He, it's a crit. Yeah, roll for full damage. That's a four, that's a two, that's a six overall, and then plus two with dexterity, that's an eight. Yeah. All right. Uh, Chartreuse is possessing the king. Stands up, prepares this ethereal great axe, glares down at all of you, and <clears throat> just in the forehead gets a dart. I have a very good throwing arm. Bullseye. <laughs> I have a very yeah. good arm for everything, really. I, I ruined your four earlier. <laughs> You're going to be oh, great at, at bar darts. <laughs> Alright, uh, I assume that's the end of Talek's turn. Uh, he left for a moment, so I'm going to assume it is. Uh, uh, is that the end of your turn, Tim? Yeah, I'm not going to do any bonus actions. I don't want to get close. Alright, Mr. All right. Bear. Bear noises. Charge. Alright, when you <laughs> enter the circle, make a constitution saving throw. Actually, no, wisdom saving throw. Oh, sweet. Well, you have good wisdom. Yep. Not 20! Alright, you don't even <laughs> notice any shit! Just go right for it. You're a bear, you don't care. Bear I can do Just what I want! I'm, I can do what I want because I'm a bear and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what it. You, what do you mean I have to wild shift? I'm sorry. What do you mean I have to shape shift out of wild form eventually? Alright, go ahead, Rhino. Roll to attack. Okay, I'm gonna do my multi attack. All right, so uh, okay. First one is an eighteen. Oh, to hit? Oh, hit? sorry. Uh, yeah, that hits. Sorry, I thought you meant okay. damage, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> okay, and next one. Ooh, that's a ten. Nope. Okay, Ooh. so I I hit with my bite, but not with my claws. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Ew. Not a great round for me. Okay, I do six piercing damage. That feel when a dart, dart does more damage than a bear. All right. Look, the bear charges bear forward. noises. The bear charges forward, <laughs> ignores the what it's some sort of pressure on its brain, and bites down, bites a weak portion of the of the king's what appears to be some sort of ethereal armor, and then sweats with its claw, but clangs off against a stronger portion. Uh... Now, it is Chartreuse's turn. Chartreuse raises the Great Axe and tries to bring it down on this bear. Put down your bear health, by the way. Oh, right, sorry. I forgot my bear health. Unless you want to have 20. No, no, no. Uh, not nat 20. Okay, yeah, you hit me. All right, you take... I feel like I'm becoming the tank because our other tank is not close range. You take... And took off his armor. 18 damage. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, I know, you get messed up. Clark can take different use, uh, types of rolls. Okay, so let's see. Good thing uh, we had that full heal. 16? Yeah. You, ta right. you take 18 yeah. damage. I know, I have 16 health left. I okay. Alright. And uh, after doing that, uh, Chartreuse, like the... The king's form disappears and reappears. So no attack of opportunity, sir. Damn it. And reappears. Uh, would everyone please make a perception roll? Oh, I only got a five. I only got a five. Seven. Twenty-three. Seventeen. All right. When he reappears here. Oof. Only Lise and the bear notice. Uh, bear noises. I'm going to say that if you want to, uh, you would have to use a bonus action in order to warn anyone, anybody else. Okay. Uh, I turned towards the king and 
use my bonus action to do a loud bear noise. It's not your turn anymore, though. <laughs> yeah, it's Chartreuse's yeah. turn. <laughs> oh, never mind. Then. Yeah, so... But that is, the end, that is the end of Chartreuse's turn, though. So now it is Lee's. Jerry, save Dan. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Oh, God. Leave it to me. <laughs> okay. I cast Fairy Fire. Yeah, that, I'd say... Oh, won't that hit Dan? Or, or uh, if he casts it if right, I, it if, yeah. If I ju if I just angle it like up here, what's for example, the what's the range on? Uh, you can't cast it outside the walls. Radius is ten feet. So if I cast it here, okay, then, uh, that yeah, that would that would work. Uh, you know, if you cast it like right here, then yeah. All right, uh, saving throw then. Uh, yeah. Um. Well, uh, dexterity saving throw. Dexterity. Nat twenty. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, a bitch. Hey, ta uh, who doesn't know? Tana. Me. Technically, Tana. Tana doesn't, technically, Tana doesn't know either. But this will signal us both. Tana, behind you. All right, Tana, you are now where the chartreuse is behind you. Uh, up to you how you take that. But now, at the very least, if it attacks you, it does not get any advantage because it's not a surprise. Okay, that's a problem because close enough for an attack of opportunity. E yeah. Fuck. Of course she would tell. Of course that that no good bitch would teleport right behind me. All right, fine. I'll I'll just throw. Right, I'll just attack it with my short sword of trickery. I don't give a fuck about this fake god. All right. Oh shit, son. Roll d twenty to hit, and you get advantage for that sweet burn. I mean, all that's a fake, but you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> well. Don't let Lise know that. <laughs> was I was I not clear on that or No, you we didn't hear what you said. It was you a said twelve. Well. It was uh, twelve. Alright. Uh you don't you do not hit. Uh so do you do anything else on your turn? It wasn't close enough for a trickery shot? No. I give her the finger because I'm pissed off. She might chop that off. She I dare this? her to chop it off! Does anyone else think this looks like a giant reverse green olive? <laughs> oh, kind of does. She accepts this, and now it's Talek's turn. Uh, Talek, you are now aware of Chartreuse's presence. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. I can move 40 feet, so I'm going to rush in close to get a swing with my staff. Roll the hit. And, okay. Uh, that is a 21. Yep, you got her. You hit her. It's a her possessing a hand, let's just say her. <laughs> okay, rolling for damage. Sadly, that is only a 3. All but, right. now I'm going to spend the key point for patient defense. <laughs> Alright. Sodrak, Mr. Bear! Angry bear noises. I charge over here. All right. I can move 40 feet, so that's still within my range. Yeah. I'm a zippy little bear. <laughs> bear noise ass. Big bear. And I'm going to use my multi-attack, because I can spam the shit out of that. Roll the hit. That's kind of like the thing about being a bear. You hit a lot. <laughs> All right. 19. Yep. Oof. E. 12. <laughs> nope. All right. One hits. How much damage? All right, that was my bite, because I always do the bite first. Uh, eight. Eight, all right. It is now Chartreuse's turn. Chartreuse is now surrounded by these things. She is, she goes for what appears to be the biggest threat, that being the biggest creature, the bear. Bear noises. <laughs> she swigs with the great sword. Great axe. Great axe, my bad. Uh, 17? Yep. Oh, that's gonna hit. Alright. Right now his bear days are numbered. Yep. <laughs> 13. 13 damage. Ooh, ooh. Just, Holy still shit. a bear. Still Just a bear. barely. Just barely. Barely yeah. a bear! Hey! And now, Arthur, at this point, it might behoove me to not be a bear anymore, so I don't get nuked in regular form from an OP attack. Chartreuse, uh, now, using her bonus action, 
is going to once again teleport. Oh, boy. Here. Ooh, Jerry. Sh- Jerry, make, uh, everybody make a perception check. Well, that's a little bit That's better. only a six. 18. Nat 20, I... which means I got 30 total. <laughs> oh, so Jerry... Jerry just turns around. Sixteen. Instantly. I got sixteen. Chartreuse appears, and Lisa's already faced her. She's taken by surprise. Lise, uh, it's your turn next. But first, get us take a surprise attack. Yes. Okay. Yay. What? That does, just... does, does he get to use a spell, or it has to be melee? Uh, maybe my crossbow. If it's a surprise attack, you can do whatever you want, basically. Crossbow. Jerry. No, blaster. Oh, blaster. You can uh... use magic. You have your magic shit, remember? Oh, also, yeah. why are you far away? Oh, that's because... <laughs> I'm charging my laptop, which is the only thing that has a keyboard right now. Okay, oh. there we go. Use okay, your magic. Um... Get, her, get her with the magic. Okay, Chartreuse. I reject you as a god, and I impose my own. That's fair. Oh, Radiant that's a reject... of the dawn! I was about to say, that's a reject your reality type thing. Yeah, it is. Saving throw. We reject your logic and substitute our own. Saving throw. Nat one. <laughs> oh. I think so does, that, does, that count, does that count as basically a crit? I don't know. Damn. I'm not I sure how this works regarding magic. Regarding, I would say yes, but Fuck. according to the according to the book, just you just it's either you save it or you don't. It doesn't say if okay. you. I'm gonna say just. Say I'm gonna say just go. I'm gonna say just go for it, Jerry. Are you okay? Because you yelled a moment ago. Yeah. Well, it's just I got a bad roll. Oh. So well, seven I'm... damage total. That, that's you say it. that's bad. That's like about on par with what everyone else has done. So well, far. the thing is, it was this attack is two d tens. <laughs> oh, okay. it, fair two d tens. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Fair two d ten plus well, two. Well, now it's all. It's your actual turn now. So go ahead and do something. <laughs> so you can try to use another magical attack. Well. Oh, or I, you can I, use your hat again. I think I'll be doing something different that I haven't done yet. Is it um, playing cards? It's it's a it's a little magical thing. It's not going to do any damage or anything. <laughs> Although, no, no. <laughs> I am going to be blessing my three companions. Oh, uh, which okay. Mean, which means that um, as for a entire minute, if I keep concentrated. Not thinking about that was probably a bad idea since she's right next to me and I'm the only person that she's going to die. Well, she, yeah, <gasps> she can't do her turn for a bit. Oh, okay. Uh, whenever a target makes an attack roll or the saving throw before the set battle ends, the target can roll a D4 and add to the number to their attack roll or saving throw. Oh, dude, you as, do this to me? Yeah, yeah. It, it's for three creatures of your choice within range. Hello. Do it, all three of you. Nice. <laughs> And as far as I could tell, it stays on as long as the spell is on. So, all right. And uh, okay. you, uh, uh, are you gonna do anything else? Is that a bonus action or your regular action? No, it's a normal action. All right, you gonna do anything else? Um, <laughs> shit. I don't think Jerry has anything else he can do. Yeah, no, I don't really have anything I can well, do. Well, Dan, you have some. Um, of your, are you gonna inflict some sort of effect with your arrows? Hmm. Because well, it's your turn. now you. You get a plus four to your attack roll, so. Hmm. So, you could either use a dead eye or take your shot with a fire or poison. The problem is, I want to do something, but because us Jerry's in the way, I risk hitting him and then taking away all of our. You bonuses. can move. You, you can, can duck out. You could move us to the side. You can move no, like thirty that, feet. That doesn't help me at all, though. Why? What did you want to do? I wanted to use hail of arrows, then. With my dead eye arrow, then it automatically hits her, and then she has to make a savings throw or suffer a D10. Couldn't you move the problem if you, if you down in this direction? The problem is, it affects her the moment it hits her, and it hits every creature within five feet, Jerry included. Oh. Uh oh. Mm. Well, couldn't Jerry do That's, a saving throw to get out of the way? He can, but he'll still take damage from the failed saving, or from succeeding. He'll take half damage. Mm. Do we want to risk it? So is it, like oh, if wait, you, no. is it like you shoot a creature, and then it's every other creature within five feet of that one? Yes, and okay. it's only if it hits. Well, 
you can still just go somewhere else and then shoot a normal arrow without doing the hell thing. All right, I'll. Don't want us group. Still don't want us grouped up. This is yeah. still. I've been wanting to use this spell for so long. There's not and this really fucking bitch of a god <laughs> deserves to die by fire. So I'll use a fire arrow. All right. Uh, if she's 19. distracted. 19? Okay, that hits. All right, roll damage. Yeah. All right, so I roll a d8. 10 fire damage. 10? Yeah, 10 total, and then the fire. All right, constitution. Uh, does 14 beat it? Uh, no, because it's 15, so no. Uh, quick question. What was... Uh, two oh. damage from fire. Cool. What thing did Jerry use on us? Uh, he basically... Uh, blessing. Bless. Just, oh. just bless by itself. Yeah, was it called so... Guidance earlier? Uh, guidance no, that's, was... that's a cantrip, and it's Jerry, touch. did you have Bless prepared? Yes, I do. Right there. Like, because you know you can only prepare a certain number of spells per long rest, yes? Yeah, I had it prepared. You, okay, that was one of your, like, only two or three spells you had prepared? Um, if I remember correctly, I, I was able to prepare up to four, and then with level two, I could prepare another one. Okay, just make it sure. Okay, yeah. so we're good. My turn. Yeah. yeah, I only have the tabs open and stuff that of my current spells that I have prepared. Fair enough. Uh, what do I want to do here. I just never had a chance to use it. Hmm. I think what I wanted... Hmm. I think... Oh. I don't want to get too close, because then she could potentially take us both out, and I risk making it worse for Dan, especially since Rhino's going to get in melee range too. So I'll just put myself over here, over there, and throw another dart. Roll the hit. Oh, swing and a miss. Not one. Okay. Ooh. Uh, roll. Uh, roll to hit again to see if you hit oh, Jerry. Oh, it's a two. It's a two. It's only <laughs> you. You get a dart ready, and then you kind of just you stumble for a bit. Like, am I about to throw a dart at a god? And then you throw it, and it seems to be going for Jerry. But then, like in his concentration, he like sort of bows his head, and it passes over him. <laughs> yep. So. Your 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 bonus didn't really help me too much there, Jerry. <laughs> Good thing you didn't choose to add it at least. Yeah. All right, Sawdrak. I mean, my rolls were so low; it would have been totally pointless. It would. All right, and it, there's no limit on the number of D4 uh, attack roll bonuses we can do while the spell's still going on, right? Uh, as it, you can only do it once. I think we can only thing, do it, but I think we can only yeah. do it once, right? Yeah, it doesn't say. There's no limit. Yeah, it doesn't to, think, say. It's, there's no limit. As to about, long no... as the spell is going on, you can do that. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure it's like you could add a D4 to your attack roll, and that's it, attack roll, or to your saving throw. I'm gonna say one. one I'm gonna other. say you could do it once per turn. Yeah, once per turn. That's what I meant. Or I pl think. plus on saving throws on enemies' turns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The so rhino get her. Okay. Bear noises. Eh. I think my dock got bigger. <laughs> I'm growing. <laughs> You'll be a dire bear. No, it's my bless. It made you bigger. Sure. Okay. Multi attack. All right. Twenty three. Or Hit. sorry, twenty four. Hits. Hits either way. And. 24. Ooh, they, you they, they, both hit, they both hit. Roll damage. Alright. First one. Nine. Pretty good. And next one. Ten. Ooh, Rhino doing work this time. Bear noises. Alright. Uh, you... Charge at Chartreuse. You bite down on another unarmored part. You've been able to tell basically where the armor is. You then make a slash and slash it right across the chest. 
the king's form crumples to one knee and a dark uh dark particles appear above it and then oh. from the particles comes this just abomination of a creature oh. a translucent creature it is almost big enough to reach the top of this cavern and this cavern is huge it is like just looking at it you yourself find you cannot describe it it has like eyes where there shouldn't be cl too many claws it basically just imagine a eldritch abomination demon oh so rafe would be all for this i'm imagining something similar to a beholder right now it it's lets worse. it lets out an unearthly scream <laughs> and then since it's chartreuse's turn oh right no <laughs> Bolts of lightning crackle from all of its limbs. And this, oh, dear. this burst of lightning shoots forward at the bear. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, that's gonna hit. That's 24. Oh, fuck. Oh, this one's gonna hurt. This is gonna suck. Your bear days are numbered. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my bear days are done. I don't know. How much? Ooh. <laughs> Is Rhino dead? Did Rhino you just dead? kill me? <laughs> Rhino, you take 17 damage. Okay, not dead. <laughs> so you lose the three, and then you're down to six after that. Now, well, make a constitution saving throw. Motherfucker. <laughs> Remember, you have your thing. You have the, my, my D4. You can add a D4 to this, Rhino. I don't think I'll need to because I got a twenty-one. Okay, oh, right. cool. you 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 you, pa you succeed. You fight off any sort of stun this could have uh, caused. Now, Chartreuse is staying above this uh, king's form, and it seems to like turn. It's like looking, seeking its next target, and it spots Talik. Oh dear! This time. Surges of flame begin to come, and it shoots just several beams of fire at you, coming from all directions. Okay. Are you a dodge mode? No, I'm not. Oh. Sure, I'll count that as a roll. Yeah. Where'd right. it go? What'd it do? No, it just it just fell off. It fell to the floor, but it was 16. So, all right. Oh. That's uh, weird. so two of them hit. One of them is going to barely miss. You'll be able to get out of that one. You are hit by two just searing f bursts of flame. I assume it's like super scorching rays. And you take... I don't like all these you dice I'm hearing. You take 18 damage. God damn it, you one-shot him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I couldn't even do anything against that. You're, unco you're not dead, you're unconscious. Yeah, unconscious. Yeah, I, very unconscious. Well, Jerry, I'm counting on you. Never and that is, and that is all that it uh, does on its turn. To be fair, all we need is Dad to do his thing. Actually, yeah, Jerry can't even affect the monster, anyways. Lise, what, what are you doing? It's still gonna be doing attacks of opportunity. Okay. Um, I Rhino. It's heal. <laughs> shall Shall I heal you? Uh. Heal me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Believe it or not, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, um, uh, Chartreuse is still here, and if I were to try to go, it would be an opportunity attack. You have yeah. Distance. You can uh, heal me from far away, can't you? Yeah, with healing word. Oh, well, do would that. that. Get you up. What it? It's it's a heal spell on an unconscious person, so I would assume so. Okay. Okay, uh, just just heal me. I don't hear objections from Dan, so I assume we're right. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, where was that? There it is. It's a D four plus spell casting. You're you got a, <laughs> a, you got a five on that. Yeah, so six in total. <sighs> well, that's, I'm not. That's not gonna... to move. He could take his turn. He gets back up and he has yeah. six health, right? Yep. Yes, six mm -hmm. health. He has six health. Is that your full turn? He can't do much. Oh, health, wait. Oh, wait. I forgot. 
This was a bonus action. <laughs> oh, okay. So you could still do something. Yeah. That's like what are you, you gonna do? <laughs> I'm going to save the rest of my uh, my well, uh, my one now spell, my last spell. And I think I'm going to attempt a hagic. Ooh. <laughs> Can we? I thought we. I thought we can't attack the ghost chartreuse. Never well, said you. Can't, never said you can't attack it. Oh, I thought like the the key to her defeat was the was the thing. Well, he never said we couldn't, so try it. The key to Fingan is light arrows. You don't need to use them. <laughs> Actually, the key is the master sword. But shut up. Well, you, you, you uh, can use the big odd sword oh. anyway. So, all right. What do you, what is it? Uh, okay, yeah, Hagic, let's see. Da -da! It's three, which is... Uh... Fires a straight 30 feet beam of poison! Every enemy gets hit and avoid gets unavoidably poisoned and cannot roll to fight it off. Con saving throw until the next... the turn after their next. Poison beam! So, uh takes an unavoidable two poison damage. Now what this is and doing is right now, like on my on my little sheet here, its health is in the negatives. You are making <laughs> it difficult for it to return to the king's body. Ooh. Oh, I, I guess it's doing like some healing per turn, and if it gets to a certain point, he comes Actually, back. Max, come to think of it, this is more like Zelda 1 Ganon, because you have to shoot a special arrow to end the fight. And now, speaking of shooting an arrow, Tana, it's your turn. Yep, Do the let's thing! Get Let's get the compass arrow out. Or the guiding arrow, I should say. Yeah, it was called the guiding arrow, and you wanted to call it the compass arrow, and I'm like, mm, if I insist, then... <laughs> Gui guiding sounds better. The yeah. guiding arrow. All right. Guiding arrow, live up to your name. Aim. Guide us to victory! You shoot it. And fire. Roll the hit. Mm. You get advantage. And you can add plus four from Jerry. Right, I can do that. Or a, a 1d4. 1d4. 7 plus 7 is 14. 1d4. 16! You is hit. That enough? Yes! It, goes, it, flies, it flies from your bow. It impacts the creature right on the forehead. Like, there's like a... Where we would assume there's a forehead. <laughs> yeah, uh... And it, the arrow impacts, and then it seems to just sink in. It's like it's being dug in further. The creature thrashes Lord. about wi wildly, like screaming in pain. And at this point, Aldi calls in from the other room. Attack it all at once! Now! You won't get another chance! Uh, all right. All of you, attack. everybody, attack. Talik, what do you oh. do? I guess I'll just... Jump at it with my quarterstaff. All right, Saldrak, what do you do? Uh, okay, is this considered like a full turn? It's considered you just do a main action. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I swing at it with my quarterstaff. Lise, what do you do? Guiding bolt. Tana, what do you do? Can I, can I at least charge the beast? You you can you can you can move and do an action. You just don't. This is, isn't like a full turn. No bonus actions. No items. You can only move thirty five. So you're not. Will you reach it? Uh, Wait, let's see. I'm gonna it. say you will reach it, albeit barely. Yep. All right, then I'll have to. Then I'll run in and I'll use my short sword of trickery to d deal a fatal blow. All right. All at once, you attack it. Talik and Sodrak jump in with their short, uh, with their staffs. They smack it hard. And it seems to shrink when it takes each hit. The guiding bolt from Lee strikes it down further. And then in comes Tana, and with one final blow from the short sword, drives right through the creature, leaving this gaping hole, which then widens and widens as it eats away at the creature from the inside. And with one final scream, it disappears. Dan is just the king of the kill shots in this campaign. <laughs> you win. Minus, minus the one fight. Oh, we beat a campaign. We, we actually did it. I should have asked how do you want to do this, but I wanted to do it, so... It, it, it was cool. That enough. is alright. That is alright. How does the that game want to do this? 
you all so you all land and Ali comes running in and the king is the king is there the king the king is slowly waking up now he's like what happened I make sure that he's all right and everything <laughs> just making sure again <laughs> uh rule medicine check I guess a, a okay. lot happened sir yeah I'm just checking him while everyone's talking. The important uh, thing is we won. Yeah. <laughs> Nat 20! Hey, you, you like, and suddenly the king is fully healed. Like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Super medicine. I'm happy you're okay. So Even though that we're kind of not a part of your kingdom, but yay. Chartreuse, the absolvers, they've been dealt with. They're done. Yep. Including Bo. Oh, I should have known from the beginning. He's always the... such a kiss-ass. Thank you, Lily. Kiss-ass at will. He's Both kissing a the ground person now. And an excellent leader. Thank you all. How can I ever repay you? Uh... uh money is real nice. Of course. Can I have some land? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> Dwarf wants some land. <laughs> Yeah. He he. All right. Well, how about we finish this back in my castle? Let's let's get out of these caves for now. Good idea. Aye. Mm-hmm. And a, and a, as the group of you are leaving, Ali sees the king and runs up to him, yelling, "Father!" Oh, she was <laughs> the princess, like the chat thought. Should have figured that. And they. Embrace. Oh my god. Chartreuse has been dealt with. You all receive great rewards for your efforts. Dan, you are now chaotic neutral. Cha chaotic neutral? <laughs> I mean, you did some chaotic things, but you can't be called evil anymore. You, you tried to steal from a doctor. <laughs> he, well, he was an asshole. And in the end, the, green, the festival of the green moon would continue, and it would never be like this again. Congratulations, everybody! Too bad for those people who died there. They don't get to enjoy it. Yeah, mm, yeah. we don't. Although they, although they get to live with Bowler uh, for all eternity in the light place. Yay! Who, who, who says, says they, they go to your god? Yeah. Uh, uh, Jerry, are you gonna pr up. are you gonna pray once more? <laughs> pray D twenty religion one. mod. Just, get that one. Get just, that one. just to get on his nerves, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray to my god. Do you get D20 religion mod? I'm gonna pray to my god. 18, which D means 22 total. D20 religion That's mod, good. Tim. Yeah. I mean, look, my is. A I have a 10 on my religion. I only have it. Well, I only got a 14. Are you gonna pray too, Rhino? Eh, my god's nature. All right, say, okay, so uh, really Lee successfully prays, and uh, when Talik and Tana pray, they go, yeah, okay, you did good, sure. Look, I'm playing <laughs> solitaire right now. <laughs> it was part of my character's backstory that his god Bahamut sent him here to take care of Chartreuse. Yeah, okay, you did good, but look, let's be honest, the elf did all the work. The wood elf, <laughs> not the half elf, he did shit. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what does my god my say to me? Yeah. Not bad, but why were you evil? We need to talk. We need to, we need to talk about this. <laughs> we need to talk about your alignment. <laughs> yeah, about that. It's personality. Wild changes. <laughs> and that is the end of Fear of the Green Moon. Two sessions, like I said. It only, it only took us three years of trying, but we beat a D and D campaign. <laughs> And it only had to be made super sure because you skipped two thirds of it to make that happen. <laughs> well, but I hey. don't think anyone's even watching the stream anymore. I actually don't have chat pulled up, so I can't verify this. Uh, seven people uh, are watching, and Endor did say he called it. Oh, hold on one second. All right. Um. <laughs> no. Uh. Congr uh. Hang on. Uh. How do? How uh. Let's oh. see. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm doing ah. credits. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, that's the end of this campaign. And starting next week, uh, 
for starting a new campaign. Yeah. Yes. I think for the first time ever, Rhino will be our DM. I mean, he was DM well, for Well, not the first time campaign. ever. Yeah. Uh, so, Failberg is going to be coming back, but we're starting Rhino's campaign first, and then we're going to alternate between them. We've got figured out. Don't worry. We're not sure if we're going to make new characters or use old ones yet. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm making a new character for when I play. Uh, Excuse me. You have four of them. Shut up. Yeah, and let it be known to all you guys, I am opening up some options. So if you're interested in those, contact me. Yes, uh, part of it is that Rhino is going to let the uh, ex- extra races like Goliaths and Deep Gnomes be used. Yep. I mean, technically that was still allowed in other campaigns, I imagine. we just Yeah, but we, didn't, we, we never brought didn't, it up. We just didn't think to do it, yeah. All right, so... Uh... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going because I got to wake up in three hours. Did your, com- did your computer finish its thing? Uh, well, yeah, it finished the six updates, then it had one more update, and now it has two more updates. <laughs> Although I have a feeling that maybe this is finished. This, this will be the last one, possibly. I really do hate Windows 7 sometimes. Uh, there were three. There were three player fans. Because uh. <clears throat> uh, Dan fainted when the guys attacked the inn, and then during the final battle, Jerry and T- Tim both fainted at various did, times. Did you forget that I fainted during the Green Moon? Although I guess that doesn't count, but you know. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> I had three near-death experiences this time around. Mm. I got dropped to one no, health. No, got to faint. Yes, I did. No, wait. You, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I totally did, though. And two other times, I got zero. <laughs> and, I got one health. Those are both the nat one rolling dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, just just uh, just so people know, uh, the original plan for the final battle, just real quick, was uh, you were going to have to do a lot more damage to get Chartreuse to come out, and then you would have to beat Chartreuse down enough in order to actually uh, defeat uh, her with. Something. The arrow. Not necessarily the arrow. I just knew you would have to use something, but then you went to the store and you were buying arrows. I'm like, you know what? Let's make it an arrow. Yeah, she decimated us with our attacks, though, in that one round she had. Originally, you were going to, uh... The shopkeeper ended up having the weapon to defeat the ultimate evil. Also, uh, it was never brought up. Uh, we're going to pretend that Allie left that arrow there. Uh, okay. plot, plot hole oh. closed. And also, the re- the reason you, it was like a guiding arrow to show you the way was because originally it was going to be you had to use it in order to find your way to fight Chartreuse, and then you could use it once more to kill it. What would have happened if we ended up taking the other two completely different ways of the tunnel? Uh, probably just the exact same thing. I but at a different uh, angle. <laughs> it, originally, it was going to be uh, that you had to go through various trials that would test each one of you individually. And then, and then we ran out of time. <laughs> yeah, and we went through this entire thing without a true dungeon crawler sequence, but Rhino's doing that. Yep. All right, so... I'm looking forward uh, to that. Uh, I want to add one more thing. <laughs> Most kill cams. Tana. <laughs> Tana, that's hard, Joe. <laughs> I guess Those I was, arrows. I guess I was Genji. I need healing. <laughs> And then, and then, and then uh, Lise was uh, Anna, doing the healing and then not healing himself. <laughs> what does that make me, then? Uh, you became a bear. Uh, you were Roadhog. I, well, no, <laughs> Roadhog. In, basic form, in basic form, you were a very weird tor- Torbjorn. <laughs> Torbjorn, ready to turn into Roadhog. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, then, what, what, ev- what, goodbye what, what, everybody what, what, who's somehow still watching. Good night. I guess... What would that make Jerry Zenyatta? I thought we said Jerry was a uh... Anna. Yeah. Oh, Anna. Anna. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, there, there is one. It, it occurs to me: Did Jerry only start healing in the final battle? Um. Ow. I, I'm trying to. I think so. 